Hello everyone, we made it. We are at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. I know it says Epcot because that is our next stop. Just like these Skyliners making their way in this direction, we are headed to Epcot. Marquita's here with us today, hooray. I felt bad, I totally forgot certain passes are blocked out as this is another week of spring break here. So it's weird, this week, uh, Disney World Resorts, it's on two different school districts, Orange and Osceola, also two different counties. And that's how they do the schooling here. So Lauren just got off her spring break as she works as part of Osceola schools. Now this is Orange County spring break this week, but it's weird because Orange County's on spring break, a lot of the annual passes are blocked. Oh, how's it going? So there are parks that are blocked out if you have a certain tier pass. I didn't realize that, so I invited like Ryan and a few other people today, and a lot of people are blacked out. But Marquita and I are in. So we're gonna go check out today's Flower and Garden Festival over at Epcot. Also, Foreigner's Journey is playing. They always put on a great show, so we're gonna check out some entertainment, show you all the topiaries. It's been a little bit since we've been there. So I feel like we gotta go back and take a little another trip because Flower and Garden is the most beautiful time of the year at Epcot. Yeah, how do you not love it? And how do you not hit the like button? If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. It really does help. We're going to try and get to 100 as fast as possible. If everybody hits the like button right now, magic can happen. YouTube shows us extra love when we hit 100. I'm convinced. The streams always do better. So uh, you'd be really helping me out. And, you know, you could end your Wednesday on a high note by helping others. What? The peach is good. The peach is good. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. You survived until Wednesday. Now it's time to thrive. Thursday, Friday. If you're new to the channel or just checking us out for the first time, or maybe you're returning and you stopped and subscribed, debating on that front, it's time. Let's do it. Let's subscribe. We are less, I believe we're right around 100 away from 9,000. We're gonna do a nine hour live stream at Disney. And then when we hit 10,000, we are doing 24 hours straight live at Walt Disney World without stopping, without sleeping. And we're gonna be doing activities the entire time. And you're like, Pete, what can you do at Disney for 24 hours straight? You will find out. There's, <laughs> we already have a list going to occupy our 24 hours. So please subscribe, get that bell on, hit all notifications so you don't miss a single live stream. We do Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, all the Orlando things, plus our travels across the country and the world. And today we're going around the world, but uh, in the form of Epcot. It's a beautiful day here. Yesterday was glorious. It remained in like the upper 60s all day yesterday. It was perfect for me. Today, lower 70s, about 72 right now. Now we're on the physical boardwalk. The boardwalk resort are the rooms to the left and right. Here's your lobby for the boardwalk resort. There he is, Mr. Davis here. I thought you looked familiar from a distance. <laughs> How's it going? going Are on? you gonna go hang out with us today or what? I got a good half hour. So. Half hour, let's go. Yeah. Mr. Dave is here. You know Marquita, Marquita, Mr. Dave? Hi, Marquita. Yeah, it's like If you don't know here. Mr. Dave, yeah, he's uh, in our chats. <laughs> How's your trip been? It's been pretty good. I mean, today is just gorgeous. I was just saying that beautiful weather. Jeez. Woke up this morning, I thought it was in Vermont. It was like 47. Yeah, oh, it was so perfect. I had the door open <laughs> to our balcony. I was like, this is so great. Yeah. That's been a good week. It's been a great week. Yeah. So I haven't been in the parks yet this week. How have the crowds been? Where are you going? Okay. How have the uh, crowds been? Yeah, we were in Epcot most of the day, and I got about an hour ago, soaring was 15 minutes and went on it, which was really Oh, that's minutes. amazing. Yeah, that's great. So today's, today's not bad. I don't... Yeah, I know. I, I tried to meet Robert because I got here Saturday. And I'm sorry I didn't. Uh, no, it's all right. I saw. I was so jealous. Uh, everybody Saturday, I had to work and yeah. I couldn't make it out. 
And uh, I mean, Robert D was here, Tomorrowland yeah. Traveler, you, I Coach meet, was here. I did meet Daniel. I saw him in Magic Kingdom uh, live streaming. He's so, great. He'll be live streaming tonight after us. Uh, you can catch uh, his stream, everyone. Yeah, I walked up to him. He's well, super nice. He's, like, he's a great guy. Now, Pete, what's going on here? All right, That's we got a little cake bake shop. September. And it's probably the same, is done. Yeah, the same amount of progress. I was going to say, Marquita might have an inside track on this. Marquita, do they have an opening date? They don't have an opening date. Can we go I back to ESPN? Know, <laughs> they don't have an opening date, but I will say that their beverage manager officially starts early. All right, so when I come back in December, should be We could say that. Yes. They, they are saying by the end of the year. I mean, how much of the inside is done, Marquita? You've been in there. I haven't been inside this one. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, they're going to have to ramp it up because they've got no progress in the last five months. They actually have a, a lot of progress in the last five months. Well, not on the outside. You see, that's where you lose me. No, me too. ESPN. I'm just going to say. I've been a member of DVC for 25 years over here. So, now I'm torn because the athlete of... in me misses ESPN, but the girl in me is all about cake bake shop. I'm happy the cake bake shop exists, um, but I do miss, honestly, I think ESPN I just missed too because of our routine when we first moved here is that we would, we had tables in Wonderland, so you got free valet. So we would go park at the boardwalk, get our free valet, come to ESPN, Lauren and I would grab like, they used to have like $5 beers, which isn't cheap, but also it's not Disney expensive. So we grab like a beer each. And then, yeah, the chicken fingers, the chicken fingers yeah. So, but we grab a little beer and we walk into Epcot, have a great time, and then we come back out. Our car be waiting at valet, yeah. and it was great. And Tables Wonderland got you twenty percent off alcohol and food, and it was just kind of our routine. Or if we rushed into the park, we come back out and grab like a little snack on the way home because you had to spend at least like five bucks for the free valet. Now, Pete, I saw you. They closed that place. Right? <laughs> yeah, the brewery is closed. We did our last beer ever there. Uh, yeah, I mean it. Well, that's what we're thinking, but it was never built to be a restaurant, is the thing. So we're not sure what's going to take it. That was originally designed to be retail space. For those who don't know, we're talking about Big River uh, Grill and Brewery that used to be here on the boardwalk. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be a retail shop. So that kitchen never had, like, fryers or kitchen equipment. It was just a back room converted into a kitchen of things you could microwave <laughs> or, like, throw. <laughs> like, it was not... Uh, and a lot of the space, uh, wasn't a lot of seating either because a lot of the space took up brewery tanks because the brewery was there. They brewed on its yeah, premise. Really yeah, it, nice it just, it. yeah, it, <laughs> it's so funny because I went there years ago before I even moved here and I was like, it's okay. And I, I, I went, I don't know, maybe the first month we lived here I was like, man, I wish they had better beer. And I kind of just wrote it off and I didn't go back for like two or three years. Yeah. And people are like, Pete, are there any good breweries at Disney? And I'm like, sadly, there's no breweries at Disney, but you can go here, 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 and here. And I made this whole list. And they go, well, we found one at Disney. I'm like, there's no breweries at Disney. They're like, Big River. I'm like, that's not. All right, it is a real brewery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to circle back to Cake Bake Shop. Oh, Cake Bake, yes. We have Marquita's our expert on Cake Bake Shop. So let's talk about a true success story. Getting to the moon. There Gwen? it is. Oh, Who is that woman? Started out. Who? Gwen, what a fun name. in her kitchen, slowly moved her business to a storefront, to a second storefront, to a now a third storefront. At Walt Disney. Disney World. So it's in its only one owner. Wow. So, Is she from this area? No, she's from Chicago. Oh, look at that. So we're going to support you. Oh, hey, I'm happy. Anything new and exciting? Oh, no. I was just trying to think, like, we always share these memories of things that we miss. What's something that took the place of something that we like? Any thoughts? Well, Throw it in the chat if you have one. A test track. A new test tracker from GM. Okay. So a good, a good overlay. I like, I like the GM one. Yeah. Or not the original crash test. I mean, when you talk about the second V2 or... Thing with the, but you know, now it's, it's Chevy, right? With the Sim. Yeah, the Chevy uh, test track, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> People are not going to be happy with you about that. Marquita said, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh taking over Mr. Toad. 
You're gonna get you're gonna catch some fire in the chat. How about illumination? <sighs> no, nothing. Illumination should have never left. <laughs> but <laughs> if there's one thing, now that we're on that note, yeah, don't fire me up. But now that we're talking about it. <laughs> Luminous, luminous. I'm happy that replaced Harmonious. That's for sure. I'm hoping if there's no group in Italy, I've decided that's my favorite spot. But but if there is, then we will find more creative places to watch it. There's still a few spots I haven't seen it from yet. I've seen it from most. I'm trying to think of other like even like not in the parks, but like. Even does these springs. What were bongos. some things? Do you like Summer House over Bongos? No. Because obviously a lot of us Disney fans always, and that's the thing about a company that's kind of built on nostalgia, is you're going to look back and be like, oh, this was so great when, oh, I'm so sad that's gone. But there has been a lot of great changes. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of them. <laughs> a lot of the good stuff that I'm trying to think of, like it just was on blank land. Like, Ratatouille, a great addition to France, but nothing was there before that, so we didn't lose anything. See, that's where I wish Mickey and Minnie. I loved Mickey and Minnie. Um, I just wish it was somewhere else. That, that could they could put that into any single building. But there are pieces of the great movie ride at Addison. That is true. You want to tell everyone? Look at that. We can't film Disney security, so I'm gonna aim the camera at the ground, but this is a perfect time for you to hit that like button, subscribe, share some family and friends, and uh, say hi in the chat. You just walk through. Oh, magic band. So I have been told crowds have been pretty light since uh, there are blackout dates on certain annual passes. It is spring break for half of the counties. How's it going? Doing great, thanks. How are you? We are going to have a blast at Flower and Garden Festival, see some entertainment, some topes, some snacks, all the things. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Look at the beautiful flowers. This is an, honestly like a great photo spot no one really utilizes. You have this beautiful butterfly, the Mickey backdrop, and that tree when it's in bloom is fantastic. I think all of its pollen is on my car. What? Oh, I know. So much pollen on my car. I just got my car washed and then I got it. Yeah. It's something. It's <laughs> I just wash. It's every time I wash my car, it gets a yellow film over the top of it. I can tell you when it's all gonna fall because it's every time I get a car wash. Well, can you stop? Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna quit getting a car wash. It's gotten to the point where I'm looking for sprinkler systems at night just to wash my car as I drive through them. Well, here we are, the International Gateway. If you've never come in this way, this is another entrance you can get into Epcot, right into the World Showcase between France and the UK. Yeah, this is yeah. This is not starting in Canada, Mexico. It's do you start in France or the UK? Uh, so it is five after six. Well, Mr. Dave, which way do you want to walk? Oh, Pete, I don't know. I've been here. Most of the day, and I do need a beverage. All right, you pick, left or right. Yeah. All right. Did you point directly at the Rose and Crown? Because <laughs> you know I wasn't going to say no. This way. I, <laughs> this, the man knows me. You can tell he watches the channel. He's like, do you know any place we can rub a drink in this direction? Yeah. <laughs> I am done today, and we are going to have tequila. Oh, we're having tequila today, too. It's going to be a wild Wednesday night. Wacky Wednesdays. Here's one of the topiaries. Here's one of the smaller ones. Tink. Disney Parks put out a great video about how they make the topiaries. The ones that uh, that they grow year over year. That take many years to make. Kind of like the elephant over in the back of the UK. On the other side of this building. 
And then the little ones are the kind of stuff and they can make in a single year like Tink. And there's Marquita's house, the little roller skate. That's where she comes home to every night. <laughs> How's it going? My fairy house. I like it. Instead of buying a new shirt, you just add on to the old one. I like it. It's like a trophy. All right, Rose and Crown. You both have hung out with me here a bunch. Anyone remember the fun fact on why it's called Rose and Crown? Oh, all right. I'll tell everybody. <laughs> when they were researching what to name this establishment, uh, they were looking up the names of different pubs around the UK. And the two words that came up the most often were the word rose and the word crown. So they have the rose and crown pub here in the UK. Let's see, we got a table over here. All right, I like a table. Oh, sorry. All right. Honestly, the food's not bad. Yeah. It's good English pub fare. Like, the fish and chips is really good. Um, yeah. I'm telling you, the food, I was talking to someone the other day about this, and they were like, is there any good theme park foods in Orlando? And I was like, honestly, everywhere but the Magic Kingdom has pretty good food. Where the Magic Kingdom is, like, really good food. But, I mean, there's, like, one restaurant or two. I'm saying, but like, if you came to Epcot, everything, this is going to be controversial, everything but China is pretty good around the World Showcase. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What's the other one? Italy. Everything but China and Italy. <laughs> oh, well, no, the Italy restaurants are good, not the food booth. Here we go. Marquita's giving fun facts. I like fun facts. Old man, which is a... What? Old man. Which is An old man? No. Old man. Old man. Okay. Old man. Okay. Tell us more. Okay. In what, John? What? Really? Look at that. So if you come in and have an Oban, it is one of the bases for Johnny Walker Blue. And if you don't know about Johnny Walker Blue, it is the, I'd say, what, highest level or the most expensive? Most expensive you can get in the U.S. Most expensive you can get in the U.S. And it's funny because, like, gold and platinum aren't as expensive, which I find very funny. By the way, we have 130 people hanging out, 72 likes. Please hit the like button. I'm going to say hi to some people in the chat right now. Uh, we're going to have a... We'll have a little Jane Walker I would love to try. Uh, very lucky Mr. Dave and Marquita hanging out with me today. We're going to have a little beer in the UK and then make our way around the world showcase as well as the front of the park. Uh, I'm staying live until fireworks. We're going to see luminous reflection of us tonight. So you are in the right place. Don't go anywhere. Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> no, you don't have to. It's not, it's, it's not fun. Yeah. You get to see how the sauce is made. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people get a lot of tips from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels. Yeah. No, I don't know. What was what were some of your pressing questions that maybe I can answer for everybody right now? What do you look up? What are people curious about when they come to Disney? Where to eat? Where to eat? Where to drink? Yeah. But different drinks. But the cool different drinks. Like a lot of people here, if you've been here before, know that I have a secret menu item at Animal Kingdom. There's a margarita named after me at the Animal Kingdom, which is so good. If you go to Animal Kingdom. You gotta go to Restaurant Restaurantosaurus Lounge and ask for a Pete Margarita or a Pete Carney Margarita. And uh, <laughs> you will get hooked up over the Restaurant Restaurantosaurus Lounge. It is the strongest margarita you might have on property, but it's delicious. Um, also some other fun stuff. I mean, food-wise, cheers. Thank you so much. Mr. Dave, what a guy.
Is everyone happy Wednesday? You guys, this is my first Guinness since... Oh, Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> I was just saying to them, even food-wise, someone asked me about theme park food, and I said, Epcot, you really can't go wrong around the world showcase. I think every country's restaurants are pretty good for food at Disney, whether it's Canada, you have the Le Cellier. Morocco had surprisingly delicious food. France, they're known for great food. Uh, what else? Morocco, Japan. Again, I'm talking about the sit-down restaurants. Not in, The booths are good, but they swap in and out throughout the year. Um, Italy, the restaurants are great, but the food booths are always the lowest on the scale. We love Italian food, but don't go to the booths during the festivals. And the only sit-down restaurant I really don't, that I'm not a fan of, is Nine Dragons. But a lot of people like it, except for me. I just, I just like New York Chinese food, or actual Chinese food. Yes, we are We are doing to opening morning of 1900 Park Fair, reopening for the first time since the pandemic over at Grand Flow, character dining experience. Uh, thanks to Stephen Noon. We have an amazing travel agent. You should go check it out in our Discord. The link's down below in the description. Let's bring in Mr. Dave. Mr. Dave, what are some of your favorite food options here at Walt Disney World? Uh, well, I agree with you about the China. China. Yeah, Nine Dragons. Let's we'll focus on the positive. Any other place in the world showcase, great food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, uh, I'm always, I'm always partial to uh, Germany. I love Beer German, Garden in Germany. Like that, yeah. like that. Uh, Beer Garden is the restaurant in Germany. It is buffet style, uh, but it also involves live entertainment. You can see the guys playing uh, all kinds of German instruments, and, and I would say more instruments from the Alps. But it's a great show. You got the beers. You sit family style, so you're with other people who are. here. You're on vacation, you can do the Ziggy Saggies, you got the leaders of beer, it's a really good time. The uh, wine cell, Italy. You know, Italy, Italy, yep. Yeah. Tutto Italia, Tutto Gusto. Yes. Yep. Yeah, isn't it? Great, great charcuterie board, too. Right, and it seems like you can order more food now over the years. Yeah. Great small sandwiches. Yeah, small, uh, cute little sandwiches. Great small sandwiches, obviously. Marco and Danielle, shout out to the at guys. Epcot, not on Disney property, at Epcot. Okay, well, sorry to limit your greatness, uh, Marco and Danielle. Um, not only at Epcot, but what are your, some of your favorite food options across property that you've done? Or your hidden gems that you don't have to be expensive or sit down restaurants. Yeah. Uh, well, I stayed at the uh, Riviera a couple days. Oh. Bar Riva. Bar Riva is one of the best. <laughs> Had lunch, I had Casual sit-down restaurants yeah. on property. Yeah. 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 They, they, they got to figure it out. If you want to go and you're not staying at the Riviera, it is a, a, a pretty pricey place to stay at. You can take a Skyliner there from here at Epcot or Caribbean Beach or from Hollywood Studios or the Pop Century or Art of Animation because there's a stop at Riviera. You just get off and go enjoy Bar Riva. You can even get off at Caribbean Beach or if you're staying there and walk there. They're all connected. And Bar Riva is honestly... I think it might be the best chicken sandwich on property, and it's a casual and the, and the come and go as you please. Skewer. The vegetable skewer is great, yeah. the drinks are great. Yeah. Um, my mom was just in town with her boyfriend, and they were like, what's like a fun, but like not fancy sit down, just somewhere you're gonna sit, have a good meal, and like look at pretty things. And we were like, Lauren and I said, let's go to Bar Riva. Like, great spot to take somebody and try some food. Yeah, I was there. That's a good, good mention. I had the, uh, they had the heaters on it. So they have heaters. Wow, they have heaters <laughs> and AC. Even though the whole wall is missing to the yeah, outside. It was all yeah. open, so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You won't catch me out with the heaters around. I'll be out in the cold. I love it. I love, I love any day I can wear a sweatshirt in Florida. is so exciting. That's like when I go home to New York. I'm the only guy that like comes out in a t-shirt and shorts and it's 48 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be hardcore snowing for me to wear sleeves. Yeah. And, and worst case, pants. Uh, what else? Any other fun spots? I'm trying. I'm trying to think what I missed. Uh, hidden gem. Watch. Hidden gem. Watch like me. Well, I went to Todd English. Both very good. Frontera does these springs. Is Frontera? Is that? I've never been there. It's very good if you want good Mexican food. Also, it's the only other place besides uh, La Cava where you can get a uh, avocado margarita. But their food is fantastic. They also have kids eat free. Uh, Rick Bayless, right? And they do take uh, for annual pass. There's an annual pass discount. We lost Tampa's Wonderland, but there is an annual pass discount. I think they'll bring. That's what I missed. That's what I missed. Yeah. I got to go away. Yeah. 
And then also, uh, Todd English's Blue Zoo, over at Swan and Dolphin. Swan and Dolphin over often gets overlooked because it's not... Service there is really... I, I mean, I don't know if there's some training program, those guys are... Swan and Dolphin just got a new food and beverage manager. Shout out to you, Greg. Just look really good bags. I love it. I, uh, was just driving somewhere. For those who don't know, if you ever need a private ride from the airport or back or a Disney tour, I do those. Uh, but they were like, we come down every year and we do Todd English every single year because they said the service is so great. Yeah. And they were just telling me the same story about the service where they were like, oh, do you still have this or that? And they were going, no, but they have a version of it upstairs over our, uh, over at Shula's. And they're in the same building. Right. Yeah. yeah so Shula's, Shula's Steakhouse. Yeah. yeah. They do have some seafood. So there was a dessert they liked there. that Shula's made, but Todd and English didn't have it anymore or something like that. The server and the staff there went up to Shula Steakhouse, got the dessert for this family, and brought it to them. And they bring it to them every year now since it's been gone. That's the service. That's that was the story I was told. I still have yet to do Blue Zoo. I've done Shula's. I've done almost every restaurant at Disney, but Blue Zoo I haven't done. So Blue Zoo I have to put on the list. I got. I did the uh, Saver on Savannah. Nice. Oh, I want to do that too. I got to do a shout out to the cast members. Unbelievable. Savior of the Savannah is, a, is an ex extra expense tour over Animal Kingdom. Now you did the trek, you said. Once, I've right? done the trek. I haven't done Savior of the Savannah. I did a Wild Africa trek. I saw those phones. Yeah. This is no. This is easier. This oh, is you're eating. eating. Yeah, yeah. Eating and there's yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. I know it's a little pricey, but I recommend it. No, I, I wanted to Savior of the Savannah too. It's on my. I, I was I was on a good run where I got a lot of tours under my belt, but then the pandemic hit. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah, slowly yeah. brought them back. Yeah. But I haven't done Savor the Savannah. Wild Africa Trek is wild. It's fun. Like you do a lot of excursions at the safari at Animal Kingdom. So like you feed the hippos while you're chained from the back, hanging over the hippos, throwing them lettuce. You you go over that rickety bridge you see over the crocodiles. Then you have uh, a bunch of other experiences. I always say my favorite experience from that was you're in your own free roaming truck as opposed to the trail that the ride goes on, Kilimanjaro Safari. So I had a white rhino scratch inside of its body on the truck that we were sitting right here. So it was like a white rhino was right here. We need to go see the baby, because I think the baby elephant. Baby is so cute. I saw the baby elephant, super cute, and the baby rhino. But uh, yeah, and then you have lunch on the savanna in that little hut you see if you're on the ride, and you get to overlook the entire savanna. Savor the savanna is a different tour that I have to do. It's about eating and drinking on the savanna, which sounds amazing. Because you've been on that, that truck so many times, right? Yeah. And then you just park out there, and this the zookeeper, whatever they call, gives you a tour. Now this guy was there since 1998, which was impressive. Wow. Day one. As the opening year, I was gonna yeah. say it opened on uh, Earth Day, 1998, April 22nd, 1998. Yeah, yeah, and he uh, he gives you a little, you know, a little talk about. That's so cool. Yeah, and you just we went on to 4:30, which I don't know why I picked 4:30, but it was it worked out because you're late in the day. No, it's because you get a sunset. Yeah, the animals are yeah. running around. That's awesome. Oh yeah. When did you do it? Uh, like two days ago. Oh, okay, so recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was on the, I got here Saturday, I'm leaving Saturday. I'm from North Jersey. Shout so, out to North Jersey, baby. Yeah, I'm going to uh, Tigers Mets tomorrow in Lakeland. I saw that, yeah. I've never done a the spring Mets, training game. Yeah, so the spring training, uh, the Tigers <laughs> play all their spring training games in Lakeland, which is about a 45 to an hour drive from here. Is? Roughly. It depends on traffic, but 40, 40 minutes on the fastest day, an hour on a longer day. It's going to be nice, 1 o'clock game. 1 o'clock. Hot game is perfect. You get to go in the middle of the day. Yeah. I was actually I saw it on my oh, phone yes. as a reminder. I have a like an event calendar uh, that I put right. everything right, into, right, right. and I was like, oh, that'd be so much fun. I just got lucky. Yeah, and no, it's like, great. I planned this week and I said, it's spring training. I don't want to drive away out to Tampa. No, that's not bad at all. It's four, Forty. If you middle of the day, you should get a faster time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's fantastic, and it, and where they. Put Play is like it feels like you're right there. Really? It, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Joker Merchant Stadium is the name of the place. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's really, it's really yeah. awesome. I miss. So the Braves used to do their spring training here at ESPN's My World of Sports, and I used to come down when the Mets would play the Braves, so we oh, got okay. to see them at ESPN's My World of Sports, uh, just like in the like at a one o'clock game. So we do like Epcot until noon, take yeah. an Uber over or a bus, watch them. It was the year I went, the last time they were there. Tim Tebow just signed with the Mets, so that's going back a little bit. That was a big deal, right? But oh, we no, had Tebow I... up there, and I remember, I'll never forget it, I started the wave in the stadium, <laughs> we had a Tebow chant going, and then people had pushed me down. So Tebow and I are high five and we're starting the wave. Yeah. It was so much fun, it was amazing. But it's so intimate and so close, you could have those experiences, at yeah. least at ESPN. Uh, but I'm, you'll have a great time over it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And it's a good Yeah, no, it's I mean, a great day at the game. You go to the games at City Field, the Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. 
And if you, anyone who is a Mets fan, like I am, uh, Port St. Lucie is about an hour and a half to two hours away, but that's where the Mets play their spring training. But it's also, it's not too bad. They're talking, the Bright Line's talking about adding a stop over by Port St. Lucie because a lot of people north of West Palm or the cruises want a place where they can get off to either go to the cruises or the games. Right now, uh, for those who know the speed train, the, the Bright Line train runs from Orlando to West Palm to Fort Lauderdale to, or I'm sorry, Boca, West Fort Lauderdale, Miami. There's a few stops in there. But Port St. Lucie, not a stop yet, my opinion. Well, that's fun. What else were you talking about? I mean, we're almost done with our beers. We get going. If everybody hits the like button now, we'll go over 100. We have 130 people hanging out. Hit that like button. We're here at Epcot just getting started. Our stream is just starting for the day. I'm staying live until fireworks tonight so you can see Luminous, the symphony. <laughs> you didn't come on my shirt. I love the shirt. Did anyone see the shirt? It's a like, throwback. It's a bit of a throwback. Por favor, mantengase ajado. Que las puertas. Please stand clear of the doors. The great monorail shirt. I didn't know. Where'd you, you get it from? Here, 10 years ago? I no don't know. way. That's a great one. I thought it was a custom. No, no, no. This was. What do you got? Let's get you a shot of it. That's a great shirt right there. See? <laughs> I love Dole Whip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then Marquita's got a great shirt on, too. I mean, my shirt I contractually have to wear, thanks to the owners of Adventure Party. The lawyer's The lawyer's something to wear, but hold on. Let's. <laughs> I wonder if Dole Whip thinks about me too. I see they have a Dole Whip here somewhere. They do. Is that true? No, down by that orange. Check it out by that. Yeah. Thing. It's right. It's the booth. Uh, the swirled something. Dole. No, they put no, the word. No. It says the word Dole. No, there is a booth that has it. So now you can get it at the Polynesian. You can get it at the Magic Kingdom, and you can get it here during this festival. No, you can get it here year-round at the refreshment booth. Oh, at refreshment board, too, yeah. It but it's part of uh, one of the ice cream stops. It has it at the, um, they have it with a, it's like the pineapple with a The pineapple, pineapple promenade, that's where it's at. pineapple before, I've been there and done that, it was great. Pete, now, I knew I was going to yes. see you, so I did a little homework. Oh, no, all right, let's go. All right? You, feel free to chime in. All right. All right, Thunder Mountain, you got to go on one. Is this trivia? No, no, no. Okay. You got to pick one, but you can never go on the other one. This is so much fun. Is there anyone prepared for this? This is so exciting. Well, it was uh, Jeff. You can thank Jeff Blue. The play was delayed. All right, I like it. Thunder Mountain versus Space Mountain. Really? I picked a good one here, huh? Yeah. Do you I, know Thunder? I like both for different reasons, but I will say Thunder only because. Well, we have the inferior Thunder and Space Mountain here at Walt Disney World. Disneyland, I think, has the superior both. Uh, but I'll say Big Thunder Mountain. I just think... All right. I thought you were going to say Space. Oh. Then I was going to counter with Thunder Mountain at night versus Space Mountain. Because Thunder Mountain at night is pretty good, right? Thunder Mountain at night is great because you can different. also see the castle and you get yeah. time it right with fireworks. Um, I do like Space Mountain um, when they do the layovers. No, I like during the oh, Halloween yeah, party and Christmas party. Christmas so during Halloween, they black out all the lights and just play like rock music and like it's like chaotic. And during the holidays, they do like red and green flashes and it's more of like a holiday rock ballad. So I do like it with the overlays a lot. Okay. This one was easy for me to use. Blizzard Beach or Typhoon? A lot of people are going to get upset with this. I've never been to Blizzard Beach. I I'm a Typhoon Lagoon guy. Right. It's the original. It's got the superior wave pool, but everyone thinks that Blizzard Beach rides overall are better. I'm on the fence, but I do think because I love the wave pool, the lazy river, and also the location because it's the closest technically park to my house. Typhoon Lagoon for a pool day and the lazy river. You like Blizzard. Nope. I like Typhoon, oh. but there's one that Disney took away and replaced it. They extended the lazy river and got rid of some of the Yes, they did, which is now they our hangout been, area. If you ever sharks? want to find us, they got rid of the swimming with the sharks, yeah. Wow, I haven't been here in years. Yes. It's great to go back, and if, uh, if you ever want to check out Typhoon Lagoon and you want to see a really cool party, I love it at night. And we are doing the uh, April run weekend, springtime surprise weekend after party, is Sunday night of our meetup weekend for Adventures by Carney. So go to adventuresbycarney.fun, www.adventuresbycarney.fun, F-U-N, that's right. Uh, and go check out our whole schedule. We're all, a bunch of us, if you're in town or visiting or doing an event, 
It is free. The only thing we ask is that you pay your own way to whatever events we're doing, if we're doing events. And one of the events we're doing is Sunday night. Yes. We run Disney party. I need that break after working. There you go. So there you go. All right. I got a few more. Okay. I don't know if you know this. I have no short answers. Trader. I, I, I yeah. noticed that. Trader. I like to give information. Trader Sam's versus Nomad. Ooh, so this Love is, the Nomad. So these, whenever whenever people ask me to uh, rank all the bars at Disney, these are always up in the top three. I, however, <laughs> always go with Nomad over Trader Sam's. Now, Trader Sam's has more theming, and everyone knows I'm big on theming, but it has less seating, less availability, the hours are shortened, Nomad Lounge is one of the greatest experiences, whether you sit inside for that AC or outside on the water and you can see the flotillas go by. Snow leopard. The staff is great. The drinks are great. Uh, Nomad, service. I have put as my number one lounge location on property inside of a theme park I gotta go year to after I year. Gotta go so Nomad is my spot. Before I go home, I got to go. Even though I went to the saver. Right? Nomad's great. All right. This is this is uh, near and dear to my heart. Okay. Best place to take a nap. Ooh. All uh, presidents. Or American Adventure. Personal I've had some good naps in American Adventure. I will say, the harder question for me would have been Carousel of Progress or American Adventure. Well, because I haven't done Hall of Presidents in eight years. The Carousel of Progress wakes me up with the song. Well, I was going to say, so my answer if I had to take Hall of Presidents or American Adventure would have been American Adventure because I like the music to soothe me to sleep. And there's also several scenes where they're like in a bayou and there's like crickets and it gets very dark in the theater. That's perfect. July, but to be fair, uh, I haven't done Hall of President since I've moved to Florida. Okay. It's been a long time. I just try to keep everything non political, so. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Soaring, okay? The uh, California Soaring. one or the oh, World one? Oh, man. Now, I just went on the World one. I see they switched it again. Right? It is back, so they did switch it back. We just had oh, Soaring over California. That California one was good when they put it back, right? I, this one's good. Man, it's hard. Because you're asking me nostalgia over... I do think Soaring Around the World uh, is a better complete show. I think it's better for people who have motion sickness. They kind of got rid of that. But I'm going to choose nostalgia. Can we Soaring Over California because of the orange scene, the uh, Air Force and the Navy and like them. Yeah. And also you got Michael Eisner hitting a golf ball, so there's got some history there. Is that him? It's him. And there's a hit me on the golf ball. Yeah. yeah. So I'll stay the original, but Sword Over the World is great too. That's a good Sword Around the World. All right. You're gonna, you have to get a job here. Okay. You're going to drive a boat or be a bus driver? Boat. In all day. Boat all day. I say, if ever I was to like retire and like. The boat. Always be nice to cast members. They don't make the most amount of money. That is the dream job. Is put me on a boat most of the year. It is not. I mean, it's great weather. Two months out of the year, it's scolding hot. But at least you're in constant movement. Uh, especially when you're in the boat that has AC. But even the small boats that drive around Magic Kingdom, uh, being a boat captain is the greatest job. Yeah, I thought you were walking up to the table. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. The food is good. You have to make a reservation outside or on your phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I mean, they do have a walk-up list outside too, and right now it's obviously not that busy. They do have a live pianist that comes in at night that tends to the crowd just kind of hop up then. Nice. But if you're looking for an early dinner, this is a good spot. Is this place Out in the middle of the room. Okay, so all around the world showcase, you can see it is a 360 degree show. Um, You'll see Magic Kingdom from here too. Oh, that's awesome. From here, and for, well, from Magic Kingdom, you can see Epcot. From Epcot, you can see the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Yeah. Because they're so close. Yeah. No, very different. Yeah. So this this show was designed in a 360 manner that you can watch in any part of the world showcase, and you'll be able to get a perfect view. Those fireworks are the biggest, grandest fireworks over at Magic Kingdom. Nine o'clock. Uh, so when the first firework goes off, though, just so you know, they close every food and beverage booth. But that is the start of that's how you know the parks close. So the park closes at nine, but they start fireworks at nine, and then they they're about at twenty-five minutes. Show. 
you'll be fine. But I mean, anywhere you get a spot, I would definitely stay for fireworks. They're beautiful. Uh, it's worth seeing. This is the best fireworks they've had here since Illumination. <laughs> I'm just saying. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day here. And I don't know if you've seen that live entertainment, but tonight Foreigner's Journey is doing three shows in America. So if you're a fan of any Foreigner's music or Journey music, there's a, six, there's a 6.45 show and an 8 o'clock show in America. So if you follow the World Showcase around, yeah, so if you go back, there's a show at 6.45 and 8. I would get there around 10 minutes before a show. And you can hear, it's obviously a free concert as you walk by, but you can go sit and you can watch music, a foreigner journey. Yeah. Charlotte, I was just there and I'll be back there in two months. Yeah. Everyone's moving to Charlotte, my friends and family. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I have a friend right on the block. Yeah. It's a nice area. Well, enjoy the rest of your day at Epcot. Yes. We'll see you at the shows over there. All right, do we have any more questions? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. All right, all right. This is it. Me too, I love this, this is great. All right, so you, uh, Disney World Time Machine. You can go back in time. Oh boy, this is a good question. All right, five is absolutely, one is like no way. No way, all right? So you can do 4.5, right? Okay. Now illumination. So we're doing a scale of one to five. Yeah. One. Now, you, you're going to stand right over there and watch Luminate. Yeah. The only time so, seen. one is I'm not interested, five is I'm very interested. Yeah, like, okay. for, like I am going back in okay. this freaking time machine. Illuminations, I miss and love so much. Uh, so, I would love to go back and see it a few more times. But I was very lucky that I got to see it. No, I got to see it like <laughs> a lot. Several, probably a hundred times. Uh, and it's my favorite five? show. 4.5. So, I mean, I'm afraid. Do I only get to pick this for one, or can I do this for multiple ones? Oh, all right. I'm gonna then, rattle off. Oh, then, yeah, I'm gonna rattle off ten things. Okay, so yeah, five. Five. All right, kite tails. What is it? Kite tails. <laughs> kite tails. Oh my gosh. Well, kite tails. Oh man. I still think kite tails is better than nothing at all over there. And right now, there's nothing. So no, I'm gonna go three because a show is better than no show. Good for you, Pete. Good yeah. for you. I like kite tails. I'm a good. All right, this I love. I, now I'm older than you. Tarzan rocks. I'm gonna go with five because I, that was my first show. I love Tarzan rocks. So this is gonna saw, disappoint right? a lot of people. I never saw Tarzan. I'm gonna go with five. I'm a late blooming Disney adult. Right. I moved right. down. Yeah, that's I, my fault. It closed 2006. Yeah, I wasn't a Disney adult. I actually yet. researched it. But I'm sure I would have loved it. I love live theater. Maelstrom. Maelstrom or Frozen? See, that's no, no, no. Tough. What if we go back in time and go on? Oh, and go on Maelstrom? I yeah, love to go on to five. It's like three. Yeah, I'd say three. I like I like Maelstrom a lot. It'd be fun to, I mean, I, I want to say five to all these just because it'd be fun to go do, but do I have to live in that time frame forever is really no, the no, hard part. No, no, for a minute. For a minute? Oh, then yeah, I would love to go on all these things. You're pulling them out my heartstrings. All right. Uh, lights, motor, action? Did you love Loved it? lights, motor, action. All right. But does that mean I didn't? take away Star Wars for all the Star Wars fans. I wouldn't do that. But I, again, so as a kid, I, I love the live theater. I did theater as a kid, and I always wanted to be a stuntman when I was a kid. I used to like jump off my house, jump over fire, lay my brothers on the ground and jump my bikes over them. Like, I used to jump out of barns. I was always wanted to be a stuntman. So you love that show. So I love the Lights Motors action. It held a lot of people. It was good. Yeah. It was easy to get in. You were in the shade, and it you killed an hour of your day. Yeah, yeah. And then we had them, uh, like the, the uh, Volkswagen was cut hurt. Yeah, the one in half, and, and then it go forward or backward. <laughs> it jumped the ramps, and also I love that they had the old New York City skylines. It was as a New Yorker, it was fun for me to see. But yeah, all right. How about Osborne Lights? Go back one oh, more time. Wow, five out of five. Kind of five. I right? wish that it was still a thing. How good was that? I always came down and just was in awe. I was like, I would never want to be the person to set this up, but I love it so much. Yeah. Imagine somebody actually did that in the neighborhood. Well, they have it now. They donated most of those lights. So a lot of those lights went to Give Kids the World. Uh, so if you ever want to see a really awesome light show, go to Give Kids the World. It's an amazing charity here in Orlando. If you're here in December, I would make that a non-park day. It's worth doing. It's supporting an amazing charity. Uh, but also some of that, I mean, Osborne Family Lights started from a family that used to do insane lights. Disney bought the rights too. That's why it's called the Osborne Family Lights, not just the Disney Lights. Is that there was a family who was doing that, and then they copied that. 
Uh, and people, that's a huge part of a lot of people's wow. Where did they go? Wow. Do we know? So again, they sold off a lot of it. A lot of it went to Give Kids the World. I think about a million lights went to Give oh, Kids okay. the World. Oh, okay, you just said it. Okay. Uh, For a while, the Osborne's, like, when it first started, came down and actually watched over us. Like, yeah. Um, really amazing. That was, that was impressive. That was impressive. I think Disney just realized when it comes to Christmas lights, like all of us, we as, as we're putting them up, go, why are we doing this? And then we're like, oh, it's nice, then we have to take them down. But we used to have Christmas lights at Hollywood Studios, Osborne Family Lights. We used to have Christmas lights on the castle at Magic Kingdom. They were like, that's too much work. Fun fact that I learned is that they never even saved those lights on the castle because they were so hard to take off and not tangle because they would just literally cut them and throw them out because it was cheaper just to do it from scratch every year, which is why I think have a feeling we are not getting the frozen lights back on the castle. I used to like it when the Pirates and Princess Party happened and they made the castle disappear. Yeah, that. What else we got? I love these questions. These are great. All right. The $60 billion. Oh, boy. Here we go. Right? Yes, I would take that. <laughs> How are we going to spend this now? All right. Okay. Uh, I looked up some things. That, all right. One to five. Five being you have to rank these because you can't pick them all. Okay, all right, okay. Japan, uh, a Mount Fuji ride in Japan. Remember, you can't pick. I really wish I saw the whole rack. list because I would budget the list. I know, I know. Uh, I know. You're not saying what things are going to cost. Really, but I would. The show, the, he watches, he knows you got to rack and stack these. Yeah, for all right. Man. So here's what I'll say for just, just in case sure another one is coming watching. up, just in case another one's coming up, <laughs> is I would love a Mount Fuji ride in Japan. But if I had to choose the Mount Fuji ride in Japan over the Rhine River boat cruise in Germany. That was my next one. Then I would choose the boat cruise over Fuji. But I would love both. I don't think we'd be able to get both here. So Japan's going to be three and Germany's going to be 3.5. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. How about... Four and 4.5. Those are both great. Do we want to do the new Frozen land? Here, um, right? We need to let it go. It's in Hong Kong. No, so yeah, I I like the new Frozen Land. I Maybe actually think put it, it behind. It would do really well. Talk about doing something behind Big Thunder or something. We need to let it go. That I think is going to be a villain's land. Villains. I'm okay with that. Uh, it doesn't take anything else away. Like if they were able to build even like a loop around the back or took away cast member parking, but hopefully the cast members get a garage or something nearby. But. There is some space back there. I would love a whole Frozen Land because the roller coaster actually looks really cool. The Frozen Boat Ride we already have, it's great. And they have a version in Hong Kong. Yeah. But the roller coaster and all the other fun things look fun. I'm all about more everything. I'll give it a three. Okay, good. That's a good one. Now, I always, I always read about the coaster in Spaceship Earth. Have you ever heard about that? The coaster in space. Put a Earth. coaster in there. No, I'm we, all about the slow moving ride. The no, I think I think we have so many coasters. Everybody just wants. I don't want to become coastered out. Right. I do think I'm about other coasters. No, and, and and you need e-tickets, but you also need rides for the whole family. And also, I kind of like a relaxing ride. That would have been an, actually my number three nap spot, the Spaceship Earth, because you just go through with great sound it's and great. music. Yeah, you don't want to. It's relaxing. It's air conditioned. You need the full experience. I don't want to rush through that in one minute. Because that's too small. You know, it would be a 48 second roller coaster. It'd probably be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it would be Space Mountain 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Spaceship Earth Mountain. How about more Muppets? Yes. I love Muppets. Should we spend more money on Muppets? Yes. I, I'm all about the Muppets. Yes. I think You're giving it like, you want a Bob Iger like. Come on, Bob. Yeah, give me more. Give me more Muppets. Honestly, I would love. They haven't really done more with the Muppets. Well, no. They, I saw Miss Piggy over here as a no, 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 as no, a no, tree no, or something. They, All right. They just keep going with what they have at Hollywood Studios. And just I say swap if you could yeah. swap Star Tours location mm -hmm. with the Muppet 3D, and then you could have an entrance to Star Tours from. Yes. Galaxy's Edge, and then make that whole area from there, the Muppet Street we have now, to all the way to the back lot uh, dining place. The, uh, Muppets doing Muppets. Make Muppets that Tours. make that all Muppets, that whole area where Star Tours is, all the way up to uh, okay. the back lot uh, fast yeah, yeah, yeah. food over there. Okay. And you could make that a whole Muppet themed restaurant, which I think people would really love. Muppets could pop out while people are eating, and you just need one or two puppeteers that come on every 30 minutes. And do fun stuff with other people who are either eating or in a dining experience. You can make it a, a finer dining experience. Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef would be great. And you could put uh, Muppet Vision 3D in any building that's a theater. They get a movie, just move all the chairs and just put a theater behind where Star Tours is or behind it and make Star Tours something fun that's Muppets. I'm just saying. All right. I'm here for that. It's my imaginary, I mean. Uh, I guess is that it? Is that right. helpful? Is that all right? right? No. Oh, 
I love to keep them going. This is great. How about this uh, the Speedway? Let's make all those cars electric. Do you want to spend money yeah, on that? Yeah, I think it's time for that. Uh, just, get a, I don't know if you can get Tesla. Tesla. I, know, I know people will miss the smell, and I will too, <laughs> but it's time that we make all those cars go electric. We just plug them in the other night. Right? We're already running two of our parks on solar here at Disney. Let's just do the TTA as well. We're right. talking about the Tomorrowland Speedway at, uh, right. over at Tomorrowland and Magic Kingdom. How about Skyliner Expansion? Skyliner expansion, I'm all about. I think the Skyliner that, right? is efficient. Uh, where do we run that? I just, I mean, so there's already, so where they do the turn at the boardwalk, yeah. if you look at a map, and I was told this, and I don't know if it's factual, is that if you made that another station kind of like uh, Caribbean Beach, where you have to get off and you can go straight or turn, is that you can take that all the way to Animal Kingdom. And I think that would be really neat to do, because Animal Kingdom doesn't get the love it deserves because you can only get there by bus if you're staying inside the bubble. There's no monorail, Jason. there's no boat, and there's no Skyliner. All the other result, uh, resorts have one of the three. Hollywood Studios has boats, Skyliner, and bus. Epcot, boat, Skyliner, and bus. Magic Kingdom, boat, monorail, and bus. Animal Kingdom, just bus. So I do think it needs uh, a little more love. I'll make that a four and a half just so you can get more people to Animal Kingdom. It's a great park. And especially if they're doing this big expansion with Encanto and Coco and Indiana Jones, all going to Animal Kingdom in the next five to six years. Indiana Jones is taking the place of Dinosaur. Oh, we got to spend money on this Star Wars hotel, Galactica. I think that'll be a really should cool hotel. I think it'll be a cool hotel. I think what they should do is not rush it. Take the time to build a tower going up, have a really cool intergalactic lobby, a really cool intergalactic cafeteria. For what, just like people, like a deluxe? It's going like to be a, a DVC. Thing? It's a thousand, I mean, I don't want this to happen, but it's oh, going to be DVC, a DVC. I can see it being a Star Wars DVC resort if they build some rooms going vertical. Uh, I don't think they're going to waste all that technology and location. Yeah. It's just where do you put all the cast members and where do you park the cars for people who go there? All right, I'll do the last one. Yeah. A fifth gate. Do we need a fifth gate? Right now, I think there's too much we can do in our parks right now. All right. Uh, a fifth gate would be fun. I'd say let's fix all the stuff that is not 100% operational right now. Let's add all the things we just discussed, plus the other blue sky things here and there. Yeah. You can also add a country here. You can add a whole other world, uh, Zootopia over at uh, Animal Kingdom, but Animal Kingdom's getting a lot of love. Hollywood Studios, let's fix the hotel, let's add some things there. Epcot, I mean, there's so much we can do, but I wouldn't mind a fifth gate in 10 years. Universal's doing their third gate this year. If we waited 10 years, I think we would be the next big gate. Oh, yeah. like SeaWorld might speak into that. SeaWorld might, but SeaWorld's already still going through their big transition. They're adding a new roller coaster every year and they're phasing out animals. So that is their own 10 year project that I think they're in the middle of right now. I don't know. I feel like you need a big bump in 10 years for Disney. Is that all these rides are going to be sprinkled in over the next two to nine years. Yeah. Is that then what's your big announcement once you spend all this 60 billion on rides and, and entertainment? I mean, again, we need, speaking of entertainment, we need more entertainment, we need streetmosphere back. There's so much we can fix in the parks now. I'd rather fix everything than start a new park at 70% where these other parks are operating now. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I love Disney. I'm just saying, as a local, I think a lot I of people say that. Yeah, yeah, let's take Disney Would love that. I mean, or at least some version of that. That would be great. Yeah, or some program like that needs to come back. I, no, I know. I'm actually going to come over here and talk over here because I'm going to run to the opera and then we'll keep it moving. Is that I just want to point this out. Well, I'm about to take a big sip right now. I had to go to the opera. I have 7 o'clock dinner reservations, so I have to get going. Ah. Mrs. Dave is waiting. <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> Mrs. Dave is waiting. What a, what a fun last name. We did it. I was waiting. I was answering questions. You were wrong. You were wrong. Okay. Yeah. Nah. That was great meeting. Nice to meet you. Take care. Good luck with your channel. Go. Congratulations yeah, on your channel. Thank you so much. All success. And uh, have fun the rest of your trip. You leave Saturday? Yeah, I leave Saturday. All right, I'm, I'm probably should be back in the parks at least one other time. Uh, right. If you want, I'll come say hi. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mr. Dave, everyone. Hi. Mr. Dave. What a guy. Thank you for the beer. Are you going to this opera? Or I'm going to go to the opera right here. Do you want to just oh. say hi? No. Just, all right, you don't have to be on camera. Fine. I'm going to run to the opera, but I'm going to let you have some... Uh, I'm going to answer the chat in one second. What I'm going to do is give you some atmosphere shots while I'm in the opera. Don't go anywhere. Hit the like button. Thank you.
Uh, I'm going to say hi to some chat quick and then which way do you want to go? I'm thinking we'll take the long way to America. We'll do the last show in America yeah, at 8. Tequila, it's Tequila Wednesday. All right, Tequila Wednesdays. We're going to head over to Mexico. But before we do, let's uh, say hi to some people in the chat real quick. Izzo's Place. What's up? Peaches P in the house. Billy Batson. What's going on? Lynette is here. David Long. Mark Mueller. Robert D. What's going on? Steve Ako, everyone, welcome to another beautiful Wednesday night here at Epcot. Anthony Makuto says, it's been a quiet day, streamwise. Well, I'm glad you guys are all here. Uh, we're taking you right up until fireworks. Well, I'm going to show you all the fireworks, and then after us, you can go watch the After Hours event over at Hollywood Studios. After we're done, go follow uh, the Tomorrowland Traveler. Uh, but we will be live until the end of fireworks at 9.30, and then you can just switch over there. Pete just says, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to this lovely channel. Thanks, Pete. Just totally agree. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button. We're at 118. Let's keep it going. I see we can hit 150. I'm pumped. Captain and Lady Kirk, so great seeing both of them in the chat. We got to hang out with them this weekend, which was very fun. On St. Yeah, Patrick's Day. Oh, I yeah, that one. it was super fun. We had a great day. Just mousing around. Joey in the house. What's going on? Yeah, if anyone missed our St. Patrick's Day stream, it was fantastic. It was our fourth year in a row going to uh, Rope Drop, Raglan Road in the morning. We had a great time. A little craziness, as you can imagine, any St. Patrick's Day stream is. Peaches Peace says, I have my decorations for the door, my pirate costume for pirate night, my beer mug, my popcorn bucket. She is set for her trip. Allison B, what's going on? So good evening. We just got to Pop Century. That's so exciting. Welcome to Orlando, Allison. Matthew Kent, what's up? Stephen Noon in the house. Mike Graney is here. Says, can we get a Carney Crew bracket group going? We should do that. You should hit me up. Or if you want to run it, I'll put it in our Discord. And if you guys aren't in the Discord, you should totally go check it out. The link's down below in the description. Chris McCabe, what's going on? Says, Pixie Dust is past what I have. Uh, and they're blocked out. Yeah, so a lot of people blocked out this week for spring break. Oops. We were talking about that earlier in the stream. Shelly is here. What's up, Shelly? Dawn is here. Says, at the hair salon, left a like. Put it on for the whole hair salon to see. Uh -huh. Big shout out to Mr. Dave for those questions. That was awesome. Siva Co. David Lung. Eddie Davenport, what's up? Good to see Davenport crew here as well. Steven Noon says, I'm betting ESPN will be replaced with an ESPN sports book at Disney Springs in the next few years. No pun intended. Disney desperately wants to get in that arena. They are trying to get into that. Uh, I've noticed that as well. Love Pugs. Uh, the ESPN's getting into sports betting. So he has a feeling there'll be a sports book here, which is really going to change the landscape. But I don't see it. I don't see it. They'd have to build like a real big sports bar. Which I would love a sports bar, but I get the people who say keep Disney family. You don't, want, you, don't want, you don't want people gambling on their Disney vacation, but also, I mean, I get both sides. I mean, why not? No, I agree, and people have to be responsible for their own actions, but uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Either way, Bill D says, great movie ride is sorely missed. I wish they could have updated that. I agree. Anthony Makuto, what's up? Oh, we need a refresh. I hope we're okay. There we go. David D loves Disney. says, hey, Pete, it was nice meeting you last week. It was great meeting you, too. So many nice Daves and Davids here on the channel. 
Monique, what's up? Says, good evening, Disney Pals. I'm watching from the restaurant uh, in Orlando. That's fun. What restaurant? Good one. David D. Loves Disney was uh, uh, Dave we met when we got off Pirates of the Caribbean last week. It was great seeing him. Uh, Chris says, what kind of menu pass do you have? I have the second tier. So not like no blackout dates. My only blackout dates is the second one is uh, Thanksgiving week and Christmas week. So that's when I'm in New York anyway, so it works out for me. Uh, also, I add uh, water parks and and sports so i can do the mini golfing the foot golf is included in that and golf. the water parks let's do some foot golf i love it me and ryan had a great time i'm down to do it anytime especially now though, that i can go for free tyler silva what's up great to see you andrew van dyke in the house what's up andy andy i gotta write back to you and call you back i've just been swamped all day today bill b dbc says try the mccallan flight 12 15 or 18 yeah i would but uh it's not cheap there bill maybe one of the other days you're here we can do it together what? i said one of the days he's here we can do it together the mccallan flight here peaches says i'll be in florida in six days coco beach first for two days I don't miss you, peaches. yes suzanne what's up says long time no see i'm missing y'all we miss you too suzanne shout out to the richie clan glenn and suzanne and the whole family Bill B says, thanks for sharing Rose and Crown with us. I wish I was there. Well, hopefully we can bring you some of the energy from here. Tomorrowland Traveler in the house. Like I said, when we're done tonight, you should totally go and watch the Tomorrowland Traveler. He's doing a live stream from the Hollywood Studios After Hours event. We're taking you through fireworks here, and then you can switch over there. So you got entertainment all night long. Shelly, thanks for dropping the link to the Discord in the chat. Hi, Crystal Coachman. Great to see you. Uh, Bill says the Edison's is uh, over at Disney Springs. It's great atmosphere and live music. They do have live entertainment, which is very nice. And if you go during the day, you can meet the Yes. <laughs> Robert says uh, Brightline adding a Stewart stop. That's cool. And Brightline announced it's going to do Coco, which will be awesome. There you go. So Brightline adding a lot of fun little stops along the way to make it convenient to travel up and down the east coast of Florida. I can't wait till they expand to Tampa. That'll be amazing. Oh, that would be like It'll be so great. <laughs> Robert D. Yeah, let's go get some snacks. Robert D. says Nomad was his favorite. Andy says never been to Typhoon. Said, hey, Andy, we got to go to Typhoon once you move back. I can't wait for the Van Dykes to move back. D'Lo, what's up, D'Lo? What? They're coming back. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I'm dropping that news now, but they're coming back. They should be back in the next uh, three months or less. Oh, Robert D, we have a new bar to go visit. It's not on Which Disney one? property. It's called Flutes. There's a champagne bar. Where? It's in Winter Park. All right. Well, I want to go. Let's go to a champagne bar together. <laughs> Robert, Marquita, me. It's going to be a party. They have beer for you. I like champagne. I just <laughs> like beer more. Jason, what's happening? Thanks again to D'Lo for hyping up the channel. Great to see the Andrews family here. Peaches is happy to see Disney stock is climbing finally. I told everybody when it was below 90 to buy, buy, buy. Even below 95 to buy, buy, buy. It closed today at 116 and a half, I believe. Uh, great to see Boss the Drew here. Phenomenal Brandy is here. Andrew C in the house. Great to see you guys. He just says, my parents said uh, MCO is flooded with band groups and high school kids in their matching gear. Yes, so a lot of marching bands are coming to town this week. And we're going to see Phenomenal Brandy's uh, yeah. Pride and Joy. She is marching in the Magic Kingdom. We will be live for it, so you don't want to miss that. I believe that's Tuesday coming up this week. Make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on so you don't miss it. It is marching band week. Spaceship Horizon, what's up? said uh they had to redo the castle lights each year because of fire safety regard though we knew that they had to take them down yeah a lot of stuff there i mean i think we all wish the lights came back but i get why the projections are so much easier brandy says i don't get why they didn't fly our band kids but they're gonna be on a bus for a long time that is rough but it builds character i remember my bus trips in high school i had a great i mean yeah i would have rather flew but i had some great bus trips in high school and college. <laughs> Uncle Ardvark, what's up? Matthew Kent, what's happening? All right, we're going to get some snacks. What's up to DeBops? 5150. 
says, uh, I would love Rock and Roller Coaster to be Mr. Teeth and, oh, and the Mayhem. Yeah, that would be awesome. But I do feel like that's got to be Pixar and then open up the land between Mandy's backyard and that area because you already have the car show. If we could just make Rock and Roller Coaster something Pixar, we don't have to walk all the way from Pixar all the way around to Andy's backyard. I want a cut through, please. Thank you so much, D'Lo. Says, if you're just coming in, please share the stream, hit the like button, consider subscribing. Thank you so much, D'Lo. And uh, thanks so much to Shelly. Posting the links for anyone interested. The Instagram is at official Carney. The Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikToks Adventures by Carney. Our website is Adventures by Carney.fun. The Patreon's Adventures by Carney. The Discord, all the things. Just go do Adventures by Carney. Let's go for a walk and explore Epcot. Hold on, before we go, I'm just going to do something real quick. And then we move, move, move. I'm gonna pour this in here. I don't know, but this is getting warm. Rock and roll. Are we ready? Lead the way. Or am I leading the way? All right. Let's go explore Flower and Garden. Thanks for hanging out with us. Again, big shout out to Mr. Dave. Come and prepare with some questions. That was fun. Definitely a, a different way to start a stream than we normally do, but I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen any of our Flower and Garden streams, there's some topiaries right here. You got Winnie the Pooh. Tigger. Thanks to everybody who's hit that like button. Really appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers as well as the existing subscribers. Oh, that was Rabbit. <laughs> Tigger's over here. Even Eeyore. I mean, you can't be sad. Look at the beautiful flowers, Eeyore. On one of our past streams, you see that the barges do get towed out every day. Some people didn't believe us, but we saw the bridge go up live on a stream. Uh, about a week ago, the barges are out for tonight's show, Lunas, the symphony of us, and we are staying live until fireworks, so make sure you stick around, come back if you have to leave, because we're going to see some beautiful fireworks tonight. The restrooms have reopened in the UK, right by the Bill, I call it the Billy Shakes Garden, but that's the William Shakespeare Garden right there. Joffrey's, a big straw hack. If you like the agave straws over the paper straws, go to any of the Joffrey's locations here at Epcot and grab yourself some straws for the day and you'll get those agave straws instead of the paper ones. Fun stuff. Here we have Pizza Pan and Captain Hook. Some beautiful topiaries. We got some gator action going on over here. Tick tock, tick tock. What? What? Donna Cruz. Oh yeah, there's a little cruise going on. You can do cruises around here too. You, me, and Disney Podcast. Thank you so much for the follower super chats. So thanks for the stream tonight. Get a drink on us. Thank you so much. That is so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fernanda Lewis, what's going on? Great to see you. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight on your Wednesday evening. It is gorgeous right now we at Epcot. Have tequila. What? What snack should we have before we have tequila? You can pick the snack. Oh, that's right. You don't eat. No, I'll have a bite of something. Another fun fact, when you see the lights here at night, they do illuminate the entire sidewalk and the uplighting for the fireworks comes out of these two rocks. So the top of this boulder expands all the way up, and that is where the tower lighting comes up from the ground. Also, big news, the scaffolding has come down after months and months of being scaffolded. Did, scaffolded did, did. You got some lights in the window, beautiful bricks. The whole building is white. I love how they age the top. The bricks look great. It is a very, very well done refurbishment. It took a long time, but it looks fantastic. Ooh, it smells so good over here. 
Le Salier during dinner hours smells wonderful. Le Salier. I didn't know. That. Do they have a supper menu for Sunday brunch? No. Oh, well, I did not know that. Let's all go. Northern Bloom. Yum, yum. Seared scallops. Those beef tenderloin tips come from Le Salier. They always do a great job at the beef. And <laughs> they have no soup this festival, which is probably a good thing because it's so hot. We got some Bambi topiaries over here. They look fantastic. Flower, thumper. Refreshment Port has a really fun item for this festival. If they're still doing the buffalo poutine, it's very good. I had a bite of it. I didn't have a whole one, but I had a bite of one. It was good. So is it like buffalo cauliflower? It's, yeah, it's got, I mean, it's, uh, it might already be gone. Let's see. No, it's plant-based. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The plant-based buffalo chicken tender poutine. It's nice. I mean, again, it's not like... It's not going to blow your mind. It's like, honestly, the food that comes out of here reminds me of the food like I used to make on like my ski trips. Like, it's good, but like it tastes... Yeah, it's like, uh, like, it's like, I don't know, Refresh Report's kind of like bar food to me. Like, it's great if I was at a bar. Like, it's good bar food. Like, it's hard coming out of Festival of the Arts because everything's so like plated pristinely and looks so beautiful. Like, Refresh Report's just like... You want some cheese and chicken tenders covered in some sauce? We can do it. We got you. It won't look pretty, but uh, you're gonna like the way it tastes. I guarantee it. Pineapple promenade, where you can, I believe, get that Dole Whip we were talking about earlier. You could also get a spicy hot dog, but they have the Dole Whip pineapple for six fifty, and the Dole Whip pineapple with the Fanta pineapple, or you could even get it. With a mango cream liqueur for twelve fifty. Da 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 da. We recently did the egg extravaganza scavenger hunt, uh, and it was awesome. We had a great time doing it. If you missed it, go check out our last stream. It's just running until Easter, so you have until the end of this week. We haven't done the spikes pollination exploration yet, but we'll do that next week. We'll do it next week. Seems like they set up a really awesome photo spot here because look how pretty the gardens are. Come on, stop the madness. Once again, thanks so much for being here. Happy Wednesday. We do fun streams like this all the time. I recommend uh, subscribing. What'd you say? The chicken and waffles. Hers look good. The chicken and waffles is good. It's just a lot. Which way are we going? Are we going long, long? Oh, we going no, we're just going to show these beautiful topiaries and go to Mexico. I can't go past the Encanto topiaries and not show them. The Encanto or Encanto? Encanto. Encanto. You say Encanto. I say Encanto. Encanto. They're too pretty to, to not show everyone. Louisa, have you been working out? I don't think he is. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm very excited. Everyone knows Ryan. We love Ryan, Rhode Island Ryan. Rhode Island Ryan. And I have gone back to the gym. We had a good session yesterday morning. We're back tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Feels good to be back. So hopefully by our meetup in uh, six weeks. What? I'll FaceTime you while I'm on my bike. Yeah. Hopefully when we go to that Typhoon Lagoon pool party. Everybody will be in shape. Well, circle's in shape. What? Circle's in shape. I'm always in that shape. Oh, great shirt. Lost in the woods. Cause I'm... Um... All right. You have no snacks have caught your fancy yet? No. Oh boy, we're getting closer and closer to Mexico. Look at this dog. Two of them. I'm going to sit right here. Have another beer in Mexico. Yeah. 
You get anything from Trowel and Trellis? No impossible meatballs or sticky ribs or chocolate mousses? Or should I say chocolate meese? Look at this, no line for Mexico. This is crazy. The parks do feel a little empty with the blackouts. There's no one in line for Mexico. This is That's nuts. Sopa de chilerio, tamal de rajas, flan de guaybaya, and they also have uh, two margaritas and a beer. Whoa, I've never seen the friendship boat go over to that dock. Where is that friendship boat going? They haven't used that dock. They go to Morocco. They went to Morocco the other day. No, Morocco they go to every day. They've never gone to the German dock in forever. That's the way to the Germany dock. No way. I, they should make, I don't know why they were doing this sooner. They haven't used that dock in forever. That is brilliant. Why haven't they thought of this in four years? So they used to have two boats that left out of this corner and that corner to go to Morocco and Germany. And now there's just been one that's been running from the right side to Morocco. Look at the cocoa topiaries. Dante tonight. All right. He lights up. Look at that. Brilliant. The friendship boats are now going to Germany. This is so exciting. Oh, because Morocco's close for refurbishment, someone just said. Wait, I just saw it quick. Lily. All right. This just in from Lily. I can't confirm, but it sounds right that they're finally going over to Germany because they're refurbing that dock. Chosa de Margarita has a short line. It is a good time to be here. It feels light. Even Rose and Crown felt kind of empty. Matthew Kansas Iger is getting things done. Look at that. Yeah, David Long also says Morocco Dock is being refurbished, so they're using the other one. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Brandy, I heard Luisa goes to burn boot camp. <laughs> All right. Dilo says, please subscribe. We're so close to 9,000. We are. We said we are, I believe we're, we're probably around 100 or less away from 9,000 subscribers. When we hit 9,000, we're doing nine hours live from Walt Disney World. Then we hit 10,000. So, I mean, hey, if we get 1,000 new subs right now, could happen next week. But when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing 24 straight hours of live streaming here at Walt Disney World, nonstop, around the clock, 24 hours straight. A lot of people are saying they're in for this. I'm excited about it. So let's hit 10,000 soon all you gotta do is subscribe just need 10,000 subs create a second youtube account <laughs> let's go let's hit 10k i want to do the 24 hours i'm excited about it look at this even no line for la cava del tequila how beautiful is this pavilion man it really does feel empty it's crazy this is spring break there's no one in line i feel like i came on a day off also i will say wednesdays at epcot are the best days to be here People typically sandwich their Epcot days on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are the best days to be at Epcot. Wednesday being the best. But this is crazy. They have the new scammies. Yeah, the big menus are gone. They've all turned into scammies. Where's our big menus? No! What about people with flip phones? Fun fact, me and La Cava have the same birthday. La Cava del Tequila opened on August 29th. And so did I. Popped right out of mom and said, I'm here, world. Let's do it. Birthdays at La Cava. It is my birthday. Fun fact, before I moved here, I used to fly down the three or four birthdays before I moved here just so I could be drinking around the world on my birthday. Get out of New York. So I love being Epcot on my birthday. Vananda Lewis says, Pete, I'm having fun with you. Thanks so much. Lily says, I'm a new subscriber today. Thanks, Lily. Great to have you here. Steve Brownlow, what's going on? Thanks to everyone who's new. It means a lot. And I'm not just saying that. Thank you so much. I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a good time. Welcome to Walt Disney World. Hi, I'm Pete. If you ever see me in the parks, whoa, that was... Uh, come up and say hi. 
I love meeting new people. It was great seeing Mr. Dave today. I'm hanging out with Marquita today. And we're here at a place I come to probably too often, according to my accountant, La Cava del Tequila. Because I like my bank account, Muerte. Probably not the right uh, use there, but I just jumped in. Oh, look at this. I'm all Our dream team is here tonight. We got, I see Denora. I see <laughs> uh, Hilda is here. Yeah. I see Hilda. I see Denora. Yeah, we got a whole dream team. This is great. Gloria is telling us we can't have our big menus back, but she's holding down the fort up front. We got pirates here. He is, yeah. You know how much corn costs? All right, set the key to hunger. Hi. 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 I'm done, I'm done today, and I wanted to keep I like it. I like it. I like it. We have the dream team here. Sorry, we just lost service when we walked in, but Hilda's here. Denora's here. We have the all-star squad. Just tequila and his crickets. I don't need it. I'll just do some crickets for everybody, because people like crickets, so I'll do crickets. For all of you. No, no one's more than that. Look at this. Okay, so you gotta get this week Oh boy, here we go. This is a very rare sighting. Hilda is we like seeing a solar see eclipse here at uh, La Cava. Never get to the best tourist person too. Come to, come to a tequila tasting here. Yeah, I always say it's the best value. I couldn't even finish all the tequila. It's so much delicious tequila. It's just, it's insane. It's so good. All right, right now we're having. Is it okay if I pick up the bottle? Right now, Lalo. Uh, it's a blanco tequila made uh, at Los Altos de Jalisco. Don Julio's grandson's tequila. Wow. It's got to be, yeah, it's in the blood, right? Everyone, who does not know Don Julio? So, so good. Also, why didn't Don Julio just pass it down to his grandson? Why did he have to start his own label? Why not? It's kind of like you know he, You know he stepped out for a little bit. There you go. This we're taking pictures first. The camera drinks first. All right, here we go. Lalo from that's, Jalisco. That's what we should have done. Is got guacamole here. Guacamole, wow, so good. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Yum, yum. Should we have a cricket? We used to do if we do crickets if we hit hundred. And since we're already at 136, we'll do crickets at 150. Then I'm gonna trust that we're gonna get there. So please hit the like button. But people always like to watch me eat crickets. I don't know why, but here we go. Cricket. This is a big one too. Cricket. No. No. He loves it. It's a nice salty snack. I'm just training to be on Survivor. It's not like they're super tasty, but it's a salty snack. It's delicious. Where else do you get free food at Disney? Also, you can wash them down with an orange with a cricket on them. So good. Everything's great. All right, we're off and running. Thank you so much, Denora. Great to see Denora. Come see Denora when you're here. And if you're lucky enough to see Hilda, come say hi to Hilda and do a tequila tasting. See you later. Great seeing you. 
off we go. All right, good call. I don't know why. We've we been skipping it. I know, but that was a great out. stop. Wow, look at these overly dressed people. Oh, my gosh. You look so nice for Epcot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those are awesome. Thank you, thank you. The yellow Crocs are amazing. You guys look great. Have a great day. All right. Yeah, you're right. What, what, what have we been doing? I wouldn't believe that we actually did Epcot a couple of times and never even entered the World Showcase. We talked about that last time, too. Uh, we were on a live stream, but we did do one live stream, I don't know what, like four or five months ago, where we never even made it to the World Showcase, and I was like, I don't think I've ever done that. And we were all like, yeah, that's weird. And then the other day, I don't know, what, about two, three weeks ago? We did it again. Yeah. Oh, sorry about the sneeze. Um, yeah, I came in to film some stuff here and say hi to some um, friends and fans. That is fun. The art of the sugar skulls. Perhaps the most recognized icon of Dia de los Muertos is the sugar skull or Calavera de Azucar. It is thought that the sweetness of the sugar is a balance to the bitterness of death. These artistic sugar creations are rarely eaten, but often exchanged like Valentine's Day uh, and left on the ofrendas and grave sites to honor the dead. That's pretty cool. It's a sweet tradition. To create sugar skulls, artisans boil sugar and pour them into molds. Once the sugar is hardened, the artists then remove it from the mold and decorate the skulls with colorful icing and finishing touches like beads, feathers, foil, and candy. Artists often write a name on the forehead of the skull in memory of a deceased family member or friend. Fun fact. And then Bob, oh, Rob O says, sugar skulls have become my passion. Through my art, I hope to enrich and educate our community about the role sugar skulls play in celebrating and memorializing loved ones that have passed. That's gorgeous. That is fun. But yeah, so last time we were here, here's some more sugar skulls, is uh, last time Marquita and I were here, I was wow, two times in my life where I came into Epcot and never went into the World Showcase. I love this tree. See the spikes? Also, during Flower and Garden, you have these extra flowers kind of along this beautiful walk. Yeah. It's the best time of year to be here. Look how beautiful. Thanks for hanging out with me on your Wednesday night. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe like our friends have. Sorry, pardon me. Popcorn before Foreigner's Journey. We are going to check out the entertainment tonight in the America Gardens Theater. We're going to go see the third and final show at 8 o'clock tonight. Dance up. Dance ourselves right out of our seats to the music of Foreigner, Journey, and several other awesome bands. Oh, I love this guy. How were the Commodores? I wanted to come and do it. I just couldn't hack it. Were they good? Another great topiary, the Norway troll back there. You can see him basking in the sunset. He should stay. So good. Look at this sunset right now. One of the best times of day to be here at Epcot in the World Showcase. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you have? Good spot in Germany. Ooh. From the good spot where? In Germany. Oh, in Germany. Okay. I don't know why I thought in my head you said Japan. I'm like, they don't have pretzels in Japan. But if they did, I'd But I would try a Japanese pretzel. Oh Japanese pretzel sounds like a piece of origami I have to learn how to do. How would you do it? Look at that moon. A Japanese pretzel? I don't know. Since we are in Norway, the land of frozen, we have snowflakes here. Also known as Michigan. Yeah, or if you're repping Michigan or Canada. Anna and Elsa are still out and about casting spells and waving hello to their adoring fans. Loving the sunset. Great lighting here in the afternoons on this side of the World Showcase. There's no bad time to be here, but if you really want to just take in the whole world showcase, get some amazing pictures, 
is come early in the morning. Kind of, we've done it. Uh, we've done some streams in the past. Gorgeous. Also during Flower Garden, there's the Penjing Garden, where you can see a lot of the fun uh, Japanese. But even though we're in China, it's made its way across the continent. The, we could do that again soon, too. I would love to do that. We did one recently where we did all four parks like two months ago. We'll do it again soon. The Penjing Garden, uh, the Chinese art of miniature landscaping is similar to Japanese bonsai cultivation, but with additional creative elements like rock work, moving water, and even figurines. Penjing has been practiced in China since the 4th century. Today, skilled craftspeople all over the world use wiring and other techniques to shape these tiny trees into increasingly intricate and fanciful shapes. You can see that here. It's super cool. I don't see it with running water, but I do love water element. That would be awesome. Here we are at the Chinese gate. Are we going to your favorite? No, we can, favorite we can keep walking. We can keep walking. Oh, tonight? Maybe. We'll see. There might not be time. A BLT where? Oh, all right. The French are pretty good at food. The pandas are out for flower and garden. Matthew Kitson, I would love a concert with Journey Foreigner and REO Speedwagon. Well, I've already said I'm going to try. We've committed in about a half hour to going to the Foreigner Journey concert at the American Gardens Theater at the American Adventure Pavilion just a few countries away. We just have to make our way across equatorial Africa, Germany, Italy, and then also you'll see a lot of people on the bridge. The birds like to hang out here at night, and uh, this is just a few. Typically, I want to say it triples the amount of birds. And this is the bridge that goes up and down to bring the barges out. If you're in the park between 4 and 5 o'clock, the barges get pulled out. This bridge goes up. And it may be a minor inconvenience, but a lot of people still think it's cool to see because it's rare. I mean, is it rare? I mean, it happens every day, but it is fun to catch it. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, ooh, this is cool. And uh, when we caught it on the stream the other day, a lot of people were like, we had no idea. That's so cool. So there you go. The bridge going up and down, still cool. You see the evening lighting has kicked on. That like button, it really does help. I know we lost service in La Cava for a minute, but I switched over to Wi-Fi. Look at all these empty tables. I'm telling you, it's quiet tonight. It's nice. I know you're thinking, look at the crowds. This is quiet, but yes, it actually is. This is uh, pretty, pretty quiet. Here at this festival market in Germany, you can do the basin products. These are the same products you can get over at the Grand Floridian at the basin shop, including the German Edelweiss. Or Edelweiss. The barn market has very low lines. This is nuts. Empty tables everywhere you could see. I'm telling you, if you're planning an Epcot day, I know weekends typically have the better bands, but Wednesdays, it is quiet here. It's fantastic. Look at all the empty picnic tables. It's bananas. Wi-Fi is rough in all the parks, so I switched to Wi-Fi when we were trapped in this cellar at La Cava. But I switch it back off. When I live stream now in most of the Disney parks, it's better if you just turn your Wi-Fi off. However, I do tell people who have, who are not alone, not a lot of people come to Disney alone, I do. <laughs> but if you're with someone else, uh, if you're trying to book like a lightning lane or you're trying to, um, you know, do a boarding group, I always say have one person on the Wi-Fi and one person off of the Wi-Fi and just keep refreshing and trying. So if you're looking for a beer or a pretzel, and the lines are long. I mean, this line's got a few people in it. 
The cart line's got a few people in it, but you know what never has a line? Back here, in the rear of Germany, there's almost never a line for a pretzel or a beer. And we were talking about it over at Rosen Crown about the Rhine River Cruise. That line was supposed to start over here. Is that this giant wall, you can see there's an opening with the brickwork to the right and left. This was supposed to be the entrance to the Rhine River Cruise, a attraction that never got built. They also have some pressed pennies over here for Germany, which is super fun. And as you can see back here, still no line. This is the spot to get your beers, your pretzels, if there's ever a line out front. And it's not always the case, but I will say this typically has much less of a line than the two other beer and pretzel stops, which you can see in your screen now. Marquita's grabbing some popcorn or a pretzel. I'm gonna say hi to some chat people real quick. Thanks to everyone who said hi in the chat. Brenda McKinney said, I just subscribed. Thank you so much, Brenda. Really appreciate it. I love when people come say hi when they just subscribe. We have so many amazing things besides just the channel. Please come check out our Discord. It's completely free. The link's down below in the description. Over 300 people, kind, amazing people. Check out our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. And we're doing a meetup in April, which is free to everyone. Just come hang out with us. Vananda Lewis says, I'm going to Magic Kingdom for my birthday in December. That's exciting. David Long says, ooh, crickets. Yeah, everyone loves the crickets. You, me, and Disney said, eat that cricket. You're welcome. Brandy wants to know who's Team Foreigner and who's Team Journey. It's hard. I like both. Tonight is Foreigner's Journey here at Epcot. It's a cover band that plays a lot of foreign music and Journey and also similar bands of that genre. Brandy says, Foreigner for me. I'm hot-blooded and cold as ice. That's so great. Both great Foreigner songs. Hot-blooded. Or she's as cold as ice. Matthew Kent says Journey, who also has a ton of hits as well. You, me, and Disney says Journey all day. Billy Bass says, my computer or the Wi-Fi bed? Wi-Fi is rough here, but we did fix it. Let me know if it's rough now. It was just we went weird over at La Cava. Also, I should say while we're here, and how's the picture now? Please let me know. But while, uh, oh, there she is. I was like, why you're getting your pretzel? Uh, and walking through this beautiful German land. I would like to tell all of you about something that's, oh, we have an announcement. The Symphony of Us. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Well, I got it, hold on. She put this in my mouth, but I'm not upset about it. German pretzels are the best. Mm -mm -mm. So good. All right, hold on. Let's go back to not me eating. I gotta check out my nomies. I heard this was supposed to chill with my nomies. Hanging with my nomies. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I saw something that said this was the most dangerous town in Orlando. This is a pretty dangerous town. There's earthquakes, there's giants, there's rain that is a size can you imagine if their rain was our size also here's a question is that new or has that always been there the two towers up top i feel like that's new i was talking about this the other day to someone like a week ago I feel like it's always been there. We just never maybe been what is cool when we talk we bring this up every time we pass it because there's someone watching that doesn't know so we like to expand it you see these uh banners right here 
that down in the town they are also celebrating Flower and Garden Festival. Our little miniature friends are also having a blast at Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival. And the trains are bringing people into town just for the festival. You can see how excited they are. They want to just hop out here, but there's no station. Also, the craziest thing we've ever seen happen is these characters do move. We have it on camera. Their eyes light up and their arms go up and down. It's crazy. I know you don't believe me, but it, it happened on a live stream and it's real. We'll have to come back at night. So nice to see the friendship boats going over to the Germany dock right here. Hats and happened since before the pandemic. There's also the Seven Dwarves and Snow White here right by hey, the dock. Hey. Hello. Oh my God. What's up? You want to be on camera? Yeah. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Jorge. I'm from Aurora, Louisiana. Hey, oh, Louisiana the house. What's going on? Are well, you here on vacation? Well, spring break. Uh, are you having a good time so far? Yeah. My family. Oh, hi, family. What's your favorite thing so far? Oh, my favorite thing so far is really Epcot and... All of Epcot. It's just the best? Yeah. I love that. All right, have you seen the show yet tonight? Yeah, I'm going to see the show tonight. Oh, we're all going to see the show. All right, so we'll see you there. So what's your, what's your channel? We're Adventures by Carney. Uh, how much subscribers do you have? Uh, we're so close. We're less than 100 away from 9,000. 9,000. But we're trying to get the 10 and we're gonna do 24 hours live at Disney. But you can make us. So you can bring us that much closer to 10,000. So, so, what is your YouTube channel? Adventures by Corny on the shirt and the hat. Okay. I can subscribe to you. Yes, I love this. I like your hat too. Thanks. Because I know um, another YouTuber is actually a Hollywood studio, Resort TV One. No, oh, I like Josh and Jenna, they're great. I know, I met, I know. You guys, you guys just subscribe to Resort TV One Home and... Uh, yeah, we love them. They're great. So, yeah. So, they, uh, they worked with us on our pandemic video. During the pandemic, they, uh, were, one of, they were one of the yeah, amazing yeah, channels that worked with us. Yeah, last night I was watching the 7th uh, the, the anniversary of the um, live stream. And yeah. It was so much fun. I was actually on their hotel. They're awesome. We love them. Yeah, so actually I did. So let me see. Wait. Wait for it. Wait. Your family's leaving. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Can I give you a like? Yeah, please. I would love that. Yeah, and... Can you just, like, can I give you a like? Oh, yeah. You don't have to ask. Everyone should just hit the like button. Yeah, I'd say go for it. So, I'm going to give you a heart, okay? Thank you. Likes and hearts? Yeah, I'm a big fan. W's in the chat. Yes. Because every time people are saying W's in the chat. All right. W in the chat for Jorge right here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank great meeting you, dude. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day at Epcot. <laughs> Ooh, more pretzel. Yes. I was about to talk, but I'll eat pretzel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> W's in the chat for Jorge. New subscriber. That's what I'm saying. If you see me in the parks, just come up and say hi. We'll put W's in the chat for you. You can make up any letter you want. Q's in the chat. <laughs> Richard Campbell says, hi, me and my wife uh, met you at Epcot a few weeks ago and asked you where you got that dark beer. Love your channel. Thank you so much, Richard. Hello to Richard and his wife. Surprise, they were looking for beer. Hey, you came to the right person. We love meeting people in the parks. Again, if you're here in the parks, you see me, please come and say hi. We'll try to help you out any way we can. <laughs> I love that everyone's putting W's in the chat. I want Q. I know, Jorge, you've inspired so many W's in the chat. <laughs> I love it. So we were optimistic about Italy this year, but again, and we're not being negative, but the, the booth never delivers great Italian food. But if you want great Italian food, it's not far away. Just, no, terrible. Go into the pavilion. Use the restaurants. Use Via Napoli. You have Tutto Gusto, Tutto Italia, Via Napoli. Go into the pavilion. Just don't go to the booth. It's sacrilege. Look, you were right. It's already closed for tonight. You said it. <laughs> Closed all night? 
Yep. This is the best spot to view fireworks. <laughs> Pete said it, so they closed it. So now everyone books it for events. <laughs> and during the week is a cheaper night, so it's typically booked while we're here. But I'm just shocked there's still tables av available. There's you can see Lady in the Tramp. Beautiful topiary is here in Italy. Don't worry, he's my boy. <laughs> we, that's how that's how we talk to each other. That's why the lady. Oh, more pretzel? Okay, I'll do it. Ah, ah, ah. This is great. I just walk. I get fed pretzel. Talk with my mouth full. <laughs> yeah. Got to hydrate. This company was like, guys, free drinks. That's the only drink station. I hate saying that. I don't hate people taking pictures. She just looked like, she was like, I don't look good. I'm like, I wanted to be yelled, but it's on last stream, so I didn't do it. I wanted to be like, you look great. Who cares? It's Disney. Look at me. I got a big red face. You and Elmo. <laughs> me and Elmo. <laughs> Should we get a little spot? And then I'll run to the opera, opera <laughs> pre-show. Here we are at the America Gardens Theater for Foreigner's Journey tonight. This is their last show of the night. If you're wondering about the show times, they are the same every night during this festival, 5.30, 6.45, and 8 p.m. If you want to look up the full schedule, you go to Eat to the Beat concert series. Not Eat to the Beat, that's uh, the wrong one. This is the Garden Rocks. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of festival. Each of the beat is uh, food and wine. Garden Rocks concert series. And as always, they're on a well-deserved break with the tech team, lights and sound, crush it all day. My favorite spot to live stream is here because the tree. No, right here. It's how I eat. There's no one in front of me. Um, do you mind? I'll be right back. Do you want to keep this or do you want me to walk with it? Oh, I'll put it outside if you don't want to watch it. I'll walk with it. I don't care. What? You'll watch it? All right. Marquita normally doesn't like to watch it. But I'm going to run to the opera, come back, say hi to the chat. And then we're going to have Foreigner's Journey tonight at the Garden Rocks. And we are staying live after that. We'll keep making our way around the world showcase. And we are staying live until tonight's fireworks luminous. The Symphony of Us starting at 9 o'clock. So you don't want to go anywhere. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Just running to the opera and back. Don't go anywhere. You still have time to hit that like button. Subscribe. Say hi in the chat. I'm going to catch up as soon as I get back and give everybody love. No, it's too big. It's too much pretzel for me. Let's do some of the sunset and the stage. There we go. Hey!
I was gonna show uh, some real quick, and I'll come back. Back. You want anything? You good? I'm back, everyone. We got a little bit of time for the show. We got about 12 minutes. So instead of sitting there, which I'm very happy we have a great seat, but I mean, again, today has been so quiet. Wednesdays at Epcot. Also, it is spring break, which you think would be busy, but there's a lot of pests that got blocked out. Basically, if you just have the top two passes, you're allowed in the parks. Luckily, on that second tier, we were always top, even before we lived here, but Disney prices keep going up. And uh, the second tier now is every week except Thanksgiving and Christmas when I'm in New York anyway. So we're lucky to be here. Get it. Get it. Hey, hey, hell, yes. You know, one thing I do miss, the Inferno Barge being parked right here at Epcot. You can see the Spaceship Earth lights have just been turned on. You might see them start coming to life. But this is a beautiful time of day at Epcot. I mean, let me just lower my voice for a second. This is what it's all about for me right here. I mean, I guess also like when I see like families laughing and having fun or cast members, you know, helping out people and whatever. But this moment, this was a home screen for me on my phone for years before moving here. I mean, in, I tell everybody too, I changed my passwords years ago to just living in Florida, you know, Florida one day, Disney one day, you know, a lot of my passwords. So I wanted to think about it every day, just really just bring it into existence. And the fact that I live now lived here five years this summer is crazy, literally insane. But I just feel so fortunate and so blessed. And I never thought, I was a guy that watched live streamers and watched Disney edited videos uh, for my hotel room when I used to travel for work and at home at the end of a long day. And the fact that now I am live streaming from Epcot for all of you really means the world to me. So I hope you're enjoying it. I hope I'm bringing you some of that Disney magic and joy. And I never want to, you know, lose that feeling is that how lucky and truly blessed I feel. And the fact that people are watching is crazy. Uh, the fact that we are approaching 10,000 subscribers is wild because that has always been a goal of mine forever is uh it's very cool so th again thank you so much for being here you can see the top of morocco here the gate over in japan you can see the rooftops over in the uk over there you can kind of see the eiffel tower in the backdrop as we go across here you can see canada And then Spaceship Earth with over cheating off to the right. You can kind of see the top. I mean, it's painted really beautifully sky blue. That uh, Guardians building really blends in. You can see it right there. But look at that fade job. And it looks great all day long. They did such a great job. But let's see who I'm missing. Hi, Kevin Sparrow here hanging out. Chrissy Viggs, what's up? A lot of W's in the chat for Jorge. I love it. It was great reach, uh, you know, meeting Richard Campbell here last week. Great meeting Jorge earlier. I just feel super fortunate to have this opportunity. And thanks to everyone who's the like button. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Really is the best. Let's show you some other fun things here at the American Adventure Pavilion that maybe some of you know that others may not have known. Like One Block and Hands, a great beer stop if you're a craft beer person. They always have some delicious craft beers. Go check out the menu for tonight. Tonight, we are slinging 60-minute IPA from Dogfish Head, Golden Road Brewing Mango Cart, Kentucky Bourbon L, Orange Blossom right here from Orlando, Three Daughters Beach Blonde Ale right over in St. Pete, the Strawberry Magic Hard Cider from Cider Boys over in Wisconsin. You can get a Mickey-shaped pretzel with cheese sauce, but the, the German pretzel is better, just so you know. It's a little fresher. Uh, and also the Arendelle Aqua Lemonade, which is a premium lemonade and cotton candy flavoring. And you can also do a beer flight as well with four beers orange blossom brewing orange blossom pilsner lexington brewing bourbon barrel dogfish head 60 minute and three daughters beach blonde ale go ahead to america syracuse i love it let's go orange yeah i love syracuse i've had some good times in syracuse in my day uh, they have a little miniature uh, plant bonsai. I mean, you're right between China and Japan, which makes sense. But uh, it's fun that these are here and you could buy them to start your own little garden. But something like this will cost you about $130 for this right here. Wild stuff. But I love these. And uh, when I have a lot more money, I'm going to have a lot of these around my apartment. 
So I like the greenery, but uh, it's a little pricey at the moment. Lots of fun little plants you could buy here. I mean, it's flowering garden. You gotta, you gotta have some greens. Greens, greens. Let's head over to the American Adventure food booth. During this festival, we call it the Magnolia Terrace. I'm actually a big fan of these uh, items at this booth during the festival. I think it's... America was always kind of hit or miss during festivals. And again, we have four festivals here throughout the year, for those who don't know. Starting in the new year, you have Festival of the Arts. Then our second festival of the year is this one, Flower and Garden. Then you have Food and Wine, and then you have Festival of the Holidays. But Magnolia Terrace, I love all these items. The Mufaletta Panini, I think is great. The spicy chicken gumbo, I think is great. I'm not a big fan of super spicy stuff, but it's right on the borderline. Not the biggest dessert person, but people love the Bananas Foster bread pudding. The Bayou cocktail is a little sweet. Probably the cocktail I would skip the most. It's just a lot of fruit juice. But if you like sweet cocktails, it's probably right up your alley. But I do love the beers as well. The Fruit Punch Ale is so interesting and uh, fun from Cincinnati over at Urban Artifact. The Schneider Weiss, uh, I love beer. It's from Germany. It's delicious. And the Ghost of the Machine Double IPA is a great IPA if you're an IPA drinker. 1025, you get all three. It's a fun booth. I'm a big fan of Magnolia Terrace. And again, nobody in line. Not a, It's crazy how quiet it is. Big restrooms here. If you're looking for a nice big restroom, the Kid Cot Fun Stop. Again, if you have little ones, every single country has a Kid Cot Fun Stop where you can take the little ones to do an activity. How's it going? while uh, you are here in every single stop around the country. So if you want to go learn something new, they also have a lot of educational materials, not only for children, but for adults in every country. You could spend a whole day just going around the world showcase and not even see anything else. That's kind of the thing about Disney is uh, being a New Yorker, people say like, what should I see when I go to Manhattan or New York? And I'm like, you can't do it all in one day. You can't even do it all in a week. I mean, I lived in New York my whole life. I haven't done every single thing in New York. And it's kind of, now I've been down and I said, a few minutes ago it's been five years living here this summer and i probably have just scratched the surface in terms of disney and orlando there's just so much to see and do but i would recommend of course even when i used to come down on weekends uh my girlfriend and i to do the long weekend we would do a lot of the same things we just loved coming to the parks we'd rope drop to fireworks for quick trips and if we did do a longer trip you know we built in a resort day but we were tired so a lot of that was pool and relaxation but if you could build in a few extra days, there's so much to see and do at the resorts. There's so much to see and do inside the parks that are not just attractions and rides. It really is amazing. So that's why I'm super happy you're here. We do a lot of resort streams. We do arts and crafts. We try to show you the things to do on not only your park days, but also your non-park days or your laid back park days where you can kind of go explore. Oh, sitting feels so nice. Ryan and I did legs yesterday and it is hard. Ugh. We're at 160 likes. Do you think we get it 200 tonight before fireworks? Crossing, leg. Crossing my legs just hurt so bad. I confirmed with Ryan that we were working out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And he said, yes, but please, I cannot do the bench tomorrow. I'm like, no, I don't have it as part of my workouts for tomorrow. I'm like, it's still gonna be hard. And he's like, no, as long as it's not the bench, I'm good. I'm like, all right. I don't know. Are you also into throwing up? Sweet. Karen Burks, I'm so excited for this show. Yes, yeah, so we are here for the Garden Rocks concert series. Foreigner's Journey tonight, starting in about five minutes. So we have only five minutes left. If anyone has any questions, comments, anything you want to throw in the chat, please do it now. I'd be happy to answer and say hi. And thank you to everyone who is watching. It means so much to me. Marquita's here. But thanks to everybody who's hit the like button, who subscribed. Thanks to everyone in the Discord. Thanks to all the Patreons. Could not do it without the Patreons. And while we're thanking people, I would love to turn you guys onto an amazing uh, eBay store. It's SJG3 Collectibles. And uh, they sponsor the channel. They're absolutely amazing. And I wouldn't take on any other sponsor. So I've actually, I know it's surprising. Uh, but we've turned down other people because if I can't endorse it and, and be honest with all of you and say, please go do this, I don't do it. And we've uh, we missed out on a few sponsorship opportunities because it wasn't right. It wasn't a right fit. SJG3 collectibles as these fall down. We'll leave them on. I look so much cooler when I do this. Uh, yeah, they're cool shades. 
They are amazing. Uh, they have an eBay store, like I just said, ebay.com backslash str backslash sjg3collectibles, or just search them. But here's the deal. They have over 800 items every single day. Right now, I think they have 920 when I checked last. They rotate in new items every single day. And Vince and his team, not only has Vince been a uh, Patreon member and fan of the channel, he's just a great person. I've met him in the parks. He's got a great team around him. The man has been, has, he's in eBay store for 25 years. 100% positive feedback. That's crazy. We're talking not a single complaint in 25 years. And he even says like, hey, sometimes we may not be the cheapest, which most of the time they are. But he goes, we'll always have the best customer service. And I think that's amazing. And he just prides himself on putting the customer surf and, and putting the guest first, kind of like Walt Disney did. So if you're looking for anything, whether it's Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, any kind of uh, IP or collectible or an autograph or pop culture or Marvel or DC or wrestling, WWE, AEW, anything, literally anything collectible, he probably has it or can find it for you. So please go check out his store and new items every day. SJG3 collectibles over on eBay. And if you can't find what you're looking for, please message Vince. Tell him I sent you. If you buy something, tell him I sent you. Or say, hey, I'm looking for this. Just go peruse. And if you think you can't afford any collectibles, there's items that are cheap as two or three bucks that go up from there. It's so awesome. And uh, big shout out to them because uh, what a blessing to have a channel sponsor. It gives us a little bit more room and creativity to do things. Keeps us going, making sure we do at least. What? Am I do a sweep or what? I might come to the ice just a few minutes. Oh. Because there's probably no line because it's so quiet. That's a lie. We're gonna get dinged so hard tonight. Working my way back to you. I'm just gonna haul past. If you're not going to stand up and dance, you might want to sit behind me. Oh, no, no. We're, you're fine. No, no. We're dancing the whole night. As long as you don't mind, I I do stand up and dance. I'm sorry. I was just giving you a heads up. I dance. I stand up. As long as you're okay with it, I do. I, I like to stand up and dance. That's all right. All right. Seems like a really nice guy behind us. Where are you from? Oh, nice. Oh, he's from Orlando. He's used to the nonsense. How I'm done and all. Thanks again to everyone who's hit the like button. We're at 164. I feel like we could really hit 200 tonight. Tonight's the night. We got D'Lo and everyone else promoting it. Hi to Kevin Sparrow. Adam Ansis, go orange. My way back to you, babe. Suzanne, what's up, sis? Thanks for streaming. You're so welcome. We love the Richie clan. Jorge Pena says, I'm watching here. I love it. What's up, Jorge? Where are you singing, Jorge? Jorge's here somewhere. We like to get the aisle. We are only three minutes away from this concert. Don't go anywhere. You still have time to share with your family and friends. Do you have any family and friends that are Foreigners fans, Journey fans, or any music from that genre? New Hampshire in the house. Oh, here we go. It is time. That's the best life. The snowbird life is the life. That's how you get the perfect weather here. No, I'm from New York. I, I live here now, but my old landlord snowbirded. Which I love because I had the whole house to myself when I was in New York during the winter. But now I live here and it's, I get it. I want a snowbird. New Hampshire is a great snowbird spot. Also Long Island, where I'm from. But it's a little pricey, Orlando and Long Island right now. So Don't worry, we have a plan to grow this channel. We'll be just fine. We'll have vacation homes for all of you to enjoy. If you're not aware, I like to share my success anywhere we go. So if we're doing all right, everyone's doing all right. Look at this time of day with the sun setting to the left of the stage. Well, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. There's Tampa to the west. Uh, which makes sense because if you're ever in Epcot, Spaceship Earth is due north. Due north? Due north. Uh, same thing if you're at the Magic Kingdom. The castle is usually due north if you're sitting uh, on Main Street as well. Hey, what's and up? welcome to the Garden Rocks Concert Series here at the America Gardens Theater. Now put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Foreigner's Journey. Yeah! Oh, snap. Out 
of the game. What is this? Is this a new song? What's up, Mookie? Just a small town girl. Living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train. The Kirks are back. What's up, Kirks? Here we go. Oh, one of the greatest guitar moments. I've seen her in a smoky room. I saw on a cheap buckle. by Corny Channel. We're so glad you're here tonight. Happy Wednesday. We are here experiencing Foreigner's Journey. Hold on! Street lights, 
Andy, I agree. I think it's fun to do that song first. It brings a crowd in, and they can have some fun with the rest of the set. Great point. Captain Alady Kirker here, Bill D in the house, D-Lo. Tom, what's up? Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. We're here seeing Foreigner's Journey here at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. What a great song. You know this song? Yeah, you do. Lots of energy, Glenn. Great seeing Glenn and Suzanne here. Captain and Lady Kirk. some live saxophone right now. Oh, I miss you guys too, Suzanne. Robert D had a great voice like this. He says he doesn't even have a spirit jersey on. Not when he performs. Yeah. His own custom one.
Bill says, best voice in the brain line. I love it. Randy, don't make fun of my false set up. I always forget I'm live, and I sing along. I'm sorry, everyone. This I'm trying my best not to. Is what I can't Matt help Ford's it. Matt journey a rolling about uh, nine or ten years ago. Oh, snap. This started it all, and this is our song, our dedication to you here tonight. Let's go. Oh, man.
What a classic. No doubt. I gotta stand up. I'm standing. All right, I'm sitting. How they run into the midnight sun. Restless hearts sleep alone tonight, sending all my love on the wild. They say that the wrong place is found. The screen is great. Look at that cell phone. That's so great. A light on that side, a lighter on the other side. Wait, turn it around. Look at the lighter. Lights. Brandy just put the most southern story I've ever heard in the chat. She said, this song reminds me of a time a, college, a guy in college took me to a parking lot, it gets better, to watch a DVD of Journey in his truck. And it was an aftermarket DVD player in his car. And listen to this song in his truck. He said, yes, I am from the south. That is so great. Wow, I love it. Look at this guy, he's so good. A breed discovering. Oh. Hit the like button, let's go. I'm forever Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I've never seen this guy and Robert D in the same room. or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. We are the original, and we're here with you right now in this special moment. And I want you to follow us on Facebook. So it's the T-H-E Foreigner Journey right there. Honestly, though, the unless you see a guy in a vest and a bowler hat, on Instagram, it's, it's the wrong band. This guy right here. TikTok, yeah. Journey by itself. The, and on the world wide the web, bassist it's is the his own vibe. Journey. Please follow us. We're going to be playing all over the country. We're going to be up in New England. The, 
next week. Yeah, New England. Uh, Rhode Island. Um, Rhode Island. Island. Portland, Maine. We're going to hey. some other places. So make sure you guys follow us. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Give us a shout out. Send your videos. If you feel I like that both guitarists are anti sleeve. So we're so honored and blessed. I don't know why I like that so much. Moment with you. All right? I'm just saying. <laughs> and the people on the live stream, if somebody wants to reach out or book us or whatever, the mic, give us a recommendation for a theater. Whatever it might be, it's um, foreignersjourney at gmail.com. There you go. Or course Let's book them. The World on Web on our uh, page, okay? Upcoming Adventures cool. by Carney Mita. Right. We're having Foreigners Journey. Well, uh, well, this is our alter ego. We started putting some Def Leppard in our sets. Oh! Tell, yeah. the to lose, tell the drummer to lose an arm. Come to the theater uh, very soon. No way. Jury. All right, boys, let's do it. I want the drummer I to play this with one arm. This song for sure. As long as it's not about sugar, I'm okay with it. Robert D is the grand foreigner. <laughs> Oh, Photograph's a great song. Hit that like button. We're so close to 200 likes. Let's go. Sing it in your car at home. Let's go. Oh.
Somebody likes it. All right, this is our last song for the evening. No! Unfortunately, we all must... No! Boo! Uh, here we go, let's stand up. Bump, bump. Please subscribe! Subscribe! How many? Oh, thank you. Wait, me? Oh, okay. This guy's rocking out right here.
joining us this evening at the Garden Rocks Concert Series, featuring Orlando's own Foreigner's Journey. We hope you enjoy the rest of your night here. Shout out to Foreigner's Journey, the band that keeps doing it. My man. Dude, so sick. Your voice is incredible. Everybody loves it. We got a few thousand watching and they love it. Yeah. They said the best, the best in Steve Perry. Yeah. Very nice to see uh, lead singer Maria. You can tell, I was about to say, she's got to be from New York, from the boogie down. I love it. Oh, I'm going to. Foreigner's Journey. Foreigner's Journey here, meet and guests right here. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. Foreigner's Journey, the best. Go look them up. Dude, way to shred the bass. Killed it. Also, we got to give credit to this guitarist as well. On lead guitar, shredding out there. Way to go. Crushed it. So this is the fun part of sometimes uh, the... We get very big acts here at Epcot, but during the week, you get these awesome bands that are incredible, and all of you are saying so many nice things, but they come out and they hang out. So we have the lead singer, we have the guitarist, we have the bassist, all saying hi, what's up to fans? Well, of course, the cast members are trying to clear everybody out, but an amazing band. What's up, So Cargo? And again, if you missed any of the performance, you can always rewind. This beauty of the live streams is they're on the internet forever. So we don't, I don't delete them unless something crazy happens is uh, you didn't miss anything. You can always rewind and check them out or rewatch after the stream is over. D'Lo says, I think you should subscribe just for that. Turn on all notifications. I agree. Thanks, D'Lo. Bill D says, great tribute band. Best performance I've seen. Not many come close to Steve Perry. There you go. He just pieces. My son currently researching how he can get an instrument on a Disney ship. It's prohibited. Uh, weird. That's so interesting. Shrek is here. Hello, Shrek. Hi, so cargo. So nice seeing the band coming to say hi to us at the end of it. Captain Kirk with a $20 super chat. Says Lady Kirk wants to thank you, Pete. She loved them. Thank you so much. That is so kind. We love the whole Kirk clan. We love them. What? No, no, we just talked to all three. Yeah, it was great. No, it was amazing. They uh, came to hang out. And I didn't know they were also from Orlando. Well, now we have a few bands from Orlando. We can, we know that are in our back pocket. Foreigner's Journey and also that uh, Motown band was so good out of Orlando. At this time and enjoy the rest of your evening here at no. Well, that's he. No, that's the uh, electric guitar player. No, the bass is over there. I can know. He's got the. He's got the. Yeah, he's got the, the hat and sleeves. There he is. There's the bassist. This guy's a whole vibe, and I love it. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you're rocking the hat and no sleeves like me, you know I'm going to love it. Like, we got the bassist and the lead singers hanging out here at Epcot. This is why I love Foreigner's Journey. This is why you got to love the bands here at Epcot. Not every band does this, but Foreigner's Journey is invited back to Epcot year after year because, look, they come to hang out with their fans. Right here, the lead singer, the bassist, and the lead guitarist right behind him. What? Say it again, sorry. Oh, you're going to the opera? I said I like opera. Okay, we're going to the opera. I was gonna have them film a little um, Adventure by Carney promo, but I think it's still absolutely amazing talent. You have the lead singer bassist here, the uh, lead guitarist back there, just to the left, uh, to the right of the building, right there. But we're in the American Adventure Pavilion. Fun fact about this building: this is the reverse Force Perspective. So a lot of, you've heard of Force Perspective, I'm sure, if you're a Disney fan, where we make things look bigger or longer than they actually are, but this building is actually made to look shorter than it actually is is that this is actually a six-story building uh but it looks like it's only three because they want to make it look shorter they didn't want this to look too too big where america was bigger than all the other pavilions they wanted it to fit in and blend in but it's a monster building uh so it actually only looks like it's three stories one two three 
but in reality, uh, these floors are two stories each. <laughs> we talked earlier about the Magnolia Terrace. This booth is great during this festival. There are no more shows tonight at the American Adventure, but it's a great show or a great napping spot, as we discussed earlier. Art of Disney really uh, comes to life during Festival of the Arts, but it's a great spot to go check out some Disney art. It's not the cheapest, but look how beautiful Tiana looks. We got a beautiful topiary here in America, and it looks very, I mean, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's super majestic here at night. Thanks for everybody hanging out with us. We're sticking around till fireworks, which kick off in about 20 minutes. So if you want to see the beautiful, luminous uh, Symphony of Us fireworks, they start in 20 minutes. We're still going to explore the World Showcase. Thanks for everyone to hit the like button. We're only uh, 15 likes away from 200, so let's try and hit 200 tonight. And if you're brand new, please consider subscribing. We're only, uh, I believe, around 100 away from 9,000. Uh, we're going to do a nine-hour stream when we hit 9,000. And then when we hit 10,000, which I recommend, tell everybody, because we're going to do it. We are doing a 24-hour live stream from Walt Disney World around the clock, nonstop. It's going to be amazing. So please, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We're hanging out in the back of the American Adventure Pavilion. Uh, we're doing a quick opera stop. For those who don't know, if you're new to the channel, we call the restroom the opera. It's just better than saying, like, we're all going to the restroom. Kelsey Elizabeth, what's going on? Delos is peaceful of fun facts and information. We hope you subscribe to hear more and more. Thank you so much. Delos is the best. She's like my flavor flav. Also coming up in April is our meetup. If you do live in the local area or if you're here and happen to be on vacation or you're coming to the springtime surprise run Disney weekend, that is the weekend we're doing our meetup. We're doing it from Wednesday night until Monday morning. Uh, please come check it out. Go to the website adventuresbycarney.fun to go see the full schedule. It's going to be a blast. I got a lot of making up to do. I'm going to be at every event. It's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. Here comes Marquita. I'm going to run to the uh, opera for a second. But we're only 13 likes from, away from 200. So please hit the like button. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Marquita. <laughs> oh, hi, Kelsey. The fact that this is spring break, I mean, it's crazy they closed like the park. It. It's dead. It's B A N A N A S.
All right. Where are we watching the fireworks from? I know, we gotta figure that out. Where are we headed next is the bigger question. Where do you wanna go? I mean, where are we watching the fireworks from? That's well, that's gonna determine where you wanna go next because we have to decide in the next 15 minutes. The fireworks are more important, so. Fireworks are in 15 minutes, but there's, honestly, I feel like we're gonna get a great spot no matter where we are. So is there anything you wanna see or do in the next 15 minutes? Cause everything closes in 15 minutes. Two months I've been trying to get gelato in France. Alright, so we can go to France. Let's go to France. There's some good viewing spots over in France. Have we watched them from France? Well, France to me isn't the best viewing location because unless you're down I don't know, she looks great. I showed on the way over to you. She oh. looks majestic and so beautiful. Did you see that Queen Latifah got a sneak peek at Tiana's adventure? There's a lot of sneak peeks that coming out and it looks really good. I'm I'm excited about it. June 15th. I told everybody it's not 2.15. No, Marquita thinks <laughs> that Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the old Splash Round, is going to open June 15th. She's out of her mind. I say August. She says June 15th. I'll tell you, we'll see who's closer. I say August 15th. You can have June 15th. Uh, June 15th is a special day in my heart. Well, of course. It's a very special day, but it's also impossible that Tiana opens that day. I wouldn't say impossible, but they have to do so much water. work. They just have to implant an alligator. <sighs> I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I'm pretty sure one will sneak over from the Grand, though. I hear they have a lot. I hear you're right, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. So you can see people already getting their spots. I would recommend getting a good spot that these fireworks are becoming very popular. The best fireworks since Illuminations. 15 mind, minutes till showtime. Not hearing the music, you can always get a great meal at Topolino's and look down on them. You no, know, Topolino's a great spot to watch, but you should hear the music for the first time. Also, a lot of people, you can see the second floor there by Shiki Sai or Teppanito, another great spot. Here by the gate, a beautiful spot. Oh, I got a Tom Mashu. I will say, for those who are wondering, um, your beverage and food options do end as soon as that first firework, <laughs> that first firework goes off, you're done. That is kind of like the international, literally around the world, the international symbol for close up and get out. <laughs> That's the hard close of Epcot. Yeah. Hard cut off. Gotta clean that up a little bit. That I gotta clean my lens. There we go. That looks better. But again, normally every bit of rail is lined. The fact that you have... Oh, you can see happily ever after. But normally standing here, this spot is normally gone for fireworks. You have all this rail available. We might be able to see the globe. Oh, sorry. Ouch. We might be able to see the globe. I didn't even put full body weight on it. I know. And also we can see happily ever after. And I have to find... Oh, no, I have... I was going to say, we hit 20%, but I have a fuel rod in my pocket. Yes. Is it a new fuel rod? Uh, hopefully it's good. Taylor Swift the Eras Tour, now available on Disney Plus. I feel like I have to announce that. What? That's part of a Disney uh, <laughs> YouTube channel. Taylor Swift the Eras Tour is available on Disney Plus. So I started watching the other night. I fell asleep, but it's nice to fall asleep too. Oh, 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 wait a minute. What's going on here? Morocco is closed. It looks like there's a lot of work going on on the outside of Morocco. I like hanging out with you, but I really want to. Go ahead, go, go. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. what? All right, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Let's show the construction walls here in Morocco before the fireworks. Show you what's going on because this is new. Of course, we have the Disney quotes on the wall. But wow, look at all this work that is being done. This is crazy. We haven't walked this wall path yet. This is nuts in the most beautiful pavilion, Morocco. And I say that with love to all the other pavilions because this pavilion was built by artisans, architects, and engineers from the Moroccan state. When Epcot was uh, going out to build the World Showcase, they approached all these countries and said, do you want to help build it? It's a great thing. And every country was like, <laughs> we're good. We're not giving you our money, Disney, but we'll allow you to put our country in your World Showcase. 
Morocco, the king of Morocco said, I'll send you my artisans, my architects, my uh, engineers. And they built this amazing, beautiful pavilion. And I still think to this day, it's one of the most beautiful pavilions ever built. It looks like they're getting a little bit of love. So you can still make your way back into the Fez house. Into the other exhibits as well. One of the coolest things, right? If you hang out here in the Fez house, I'm alone right now. Go up, look at that moon. How cool and beautiful is this? There's not many moments. And again, I like to take these moments in. I used to do it before I left, you know, to go back home to New York on my trips and whatnot. But to be alone in this Fez house filled with these mosaics and all this beauty, second story, and then you look up to the open sky and you got the moon peeking in. It's really remarkable. It's so beautiful. So it looks like the construction walls are just for the outside, literally cut around. You can see this is how cool this is. This piece was not here. They added this tiny little piece. Man, it'd be so cool to work on a Disney construction site. I don't know if it would be. I'm from New York. We're like, and again, I love all my contractors, but you know, they try to, every corner they cut saves them 10 grand. So they try to cut every corner they can in your job as a construction manager just to say, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. Okay, I love you. No, don't do that. But it really, they go above and beyond because you can't mess around when it comes to Disney. You have guests walking through your job sites every day, picking up on every single tiny detail. So it looks like the rest of the pavilion is intact, but these construction walls really given some love. I guess it's time. I've never seen a construction wall tunnel like this at Disney. This is kind of crazy. But everything needs love. I say all the time on these streams that Disney does not shut down. Is that just because the park's closed, that's when work gets done. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. But a lot of construction walls here in Morocco. But you can still go to the back, which I'm cool with. And uh, it is massive, but you got to keep these parks and these pavilions intact and they're never closed i mean unless you have a global pandemic <laughs> so when you have a park that's open 24 7 365 how do you make these improvements you got to do stuff like this but we'll see how long it's closed for i mean if it's as long as canada i'm a little worried but canada just com got completed so maybe the team moved over here And look how small we are under the stars. The people in Morocco looking at the same stars as us. You can see Orion's belt right there, actually. I took astronomy. I can tell you a little bit. We'll keep it moving. The inside of Morocco is still open. No worries. One of my favorite birthdays ever. The first time I had a birthday down here with Lauren. We had a dance party in Morocco before I had a YouTube channel. And it was the first... <laughs> summer of me and Lauren dating and she was like this is wild this is crazy this is when Lauren claimed she wasn't the biggest Disney fan by the end of that trip bought an annual pass we talked about the Muppets earlier we got Miss Piggy and Kermit right over here between Morocco and France I do like this little walkway over here. So many beautiful flowers and these giant leaves. La Isla Fresca. A lot of people have loved the Impossible Chewing and Beef Patty. It's very good, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't put it in my top five, I'm just saying. But it is very good. My favorite thing here, the Mango Wowie Hazy IPA. So good. They also have a white sangria. It's very good too. My biggest fear after Illuminations was getting rid of these torches, and I'm so happy they're still here. They are the best. Because that's what every show should be about here at Epcot, is how we gather as humans around the fire. That really is what gave us the advantage on planet Earth, is creating fire. But it doesn't matter whether you're from Mexico, China, Norway, 
Africa, Germany, Italy, America, Japan, Morocco, France, the UK, or anywhere in between is that we come together. We gotta take care of each other. We only have one planet. So let's celebrate, dance, dine, drink, and be merry together. And when we have issues come up, let's work them out because we are all on one spinning rock around the sun and we only have each other. So I don't know, it's my little diatribe for tonight. Is our world has become so much smaller over the last few decades. You could FaceTime and see anyone around the world at any time. How you got your ice cream? What'd you get? What flavor? Um, coconut, like, Ooh, okay. How is it? Go ahead, get a spoonful on there. I'm not a coconut person. No, unless I'm on Survivor, then that's it. Oh, worth it. Here, okay, so worth it? I don't know. Here. It's not super sweet. Tastes like Survivor. So this is weird. Yes, I love. I can't wait to be on Survivor one day. Um, if anyone knows a casting person, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm not the biggest coconut or chocolate person. I'm a weirdo. I like savory foods. But that is good. That is good. Tastes like suntan lotion and chocolate chips, which is good to me. I mean, that's what it good tastes like to me. Okay, wait, wait. The coconut's the suntan lotion. Only one person in front of you. And there's no one here. It means that the park is just dead. I was going to say, I, we've, we've established that it's pretty dead. No, they might be all there, but there is three people in line, which is still crazy for Fleur de Lis. The French booth. The park has been so dead. Well, again, all pass holders except for the top two tiers are blocked out. But the park is so empty tonight, and it's a Wednesday. I'm going to go closer. This is too far away. So if there's no party, which looks like there isn't, we can go down to the dessert area. <laughs> the party's in Italy. Oh, we just but normally the there's a dessert there. party right here, but we'll take you into the dessert party area because this is great firework viewing. We were talking earlier about the friendship boats uh, are now going to Germany because this Moroccan dock right in front of you is being refurbished. So this is normally reserved for firework viewing parties, but if you come on an off night, which this is a good night, Wednesday is a midweek or great, you can get a fantastic seat. I know, but what do you want to do? Go back to the other side of the World Showcase? We haven't done these yet. I've been lucky enough to do dessert parties here, and this is great firework viewing. You are in the thick of it down here. So we're now so much closer. If you think about it to where you said to watch is all the way over there. And we're down two tiers of steps on the water and about a football field closer to the excitement. This puts us in the excitement, in the fireworks. Also, so they can't go out because it is a 360 degree fireworks show. The fireworks cruises all park right here. We're doing a fire screws at Magic Kingdom for ours, our meetup in April. Come check it out at adventurebycarney.fun. But you can see all the cruises line up here. One, two, three, four, five, six cruises tonight. They can cruise around before, but during the fireworks, because it is 360 degrees, that's as far as they can get. So you can actually be closer if this area is not being used than the fireworks cruise show. Good evening. Here we go. We invite you to join us for the Lumens, the Symphony of Oz. Due to low light bodies during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and be sure to take Oh, we're only five likes away from 200. Yes, D-Lo, let's do it. You haven't hit the like button yet. We're five likes away from 200. <laughs> so Cargo says, banana Kool-Aid also tastes like suntan lotion. Here we go. It's go time. <laughs> That this is one of the best like spots. Time. Enjoy. Hit that like button. Do you 
you mind if I stay next to you guys? Great. Thank you so much. More the merrier. It's a great spot. Yep. So again, we are in the uh, between the UK and France in the normal dessert party area. So there's one area down here, another area up there that's normally closed, but you see the bridge that connects the UK and France up there. And France is up to the left. Morocco right there. But we are right down by the water. For what happened? Oh. Thank you. Hey, yes. Where are you guys from? Carney, Nebraska. Carney, Nebraska? <laughs> Carney, Nebraska? <laughs> Spelled different. Yes. Yes. K E R K E A R N E Y. Uh -huh. So the true Irish way. Yep. Well, I love it. We're Adventures by Carney. But we'll talk after the show because it's so good starting now. This might be our top spot next to our second top spot. We'll see. Uh, this might be our king, Jim. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, I'll just take it. I just first see that going swimming. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. My favorite. Benvenuti.
When we are born, we come into this world a raw noise, cradled in tenderness. We tune ourselves to the world around us.
totally okay to cry. <laughs> I love that the entire world showcase goes silent there. It's so awesome. The music we make echoes back at us in chorus. Oh, it gets great, Lily. Don't skip it. Look at this. Come on.
so good. So good. Also, that smoke looks crazy, but I love the torches lit around the world showcase that you could see. Honestly, again, my favorite fireworks show since Illuminations. I love the story. I love the vision. I agree there's things that are not perfect, but I love this show so much. And the more I watch it, the more it grows on me, the more I get teary-eyed, and it is totally okay to cry. And this spot, with the reflections off the water, my screen wasn't wide enough, but to watch the fireworks... Hey, thank you so much. Have a great night. But this spot, watching the fireworks off the water too, which is just, and again, that's all around the world showcase, but it's so good. Very magical, very amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. And I hope you enjoyed Luminous, the symphony of us. Love this walkout music. I love the music in there. And again, I, I know a lot of people think that I hate it on Harmonious and Epcot Forever, and they were fine in between shows. But this feels like the most complete show. And again, getting back to what I fell in love with Epcot with. The, honestly, when I came down, I was never a, a Disney child, which is crazy. We came once a kid, but I was a Disney adult. And I fell in love with these parks and the cast members and the guests in my 20s because of how people treated one another and the hope of the future and this was a big part of that i love epcot because it was it doesn't matter if you're mexican german italian canadian american or no matter where you're from around the planet is that we are all people on earth together and we gotta love each other and take care of one another and now more than ever so i love this fireworks show i love the message i love the whole message of the world showcase I love looking around the world showcase. I know it's only limited to 11 countries, a few more during festivals, but I still love the message of us. Uh, we're a global community. And I'm as fortunate as I am, uh, you know, and I don't say that, you know, I, I love all countries, but I'm, I feel very fortunate to be an American and be able to do this. And this is my life. It's crazy. But I love everyone. I feel like we really are a global society and global people. So I just hope everyone is having a great week, no matter where you're watching from. Again, we're only 85 to 86% uh, American. The other 15 to 16% is international, which is amazing. And I love all of you from all around the world. Thank you for watching and hanging out with us. Of course, I love my Americans. Oh, sorry. I'm in their group photo. Sorry, it's on my soliloquy. I'm just saying I love this fireworks show for that reason and the World Showcase for that reason. Is that we, I think, even if you are, I mean, obviously a majority of us here are American, but we love to travel the world, seeing new places and all the different experiences and cultures and everything the world has to offer. And how lucky are we that we live right here, right now, in a time where you can travel the world. It doesn't take months. Or you can FaceTime with a friend from anywhere in the world or see a picture Go on Google Earth. We live at one of the most amazing times in human history. And I'm just so fortunate to be here right now with all of you. So thank you so much for watching. I'll probably wrap it up here. But uh, again, I'm just so extremely grateful and I hope it comes across. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you to all the Patreons. Could not do this channel without the Patreons. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the Patreons. Please look into the program. If you, if you want to help support the channel, that is the greatest way to do it. We have a lot more Patreon content coming up. Uh, Lauren's working on doing a, um, we want to make this happen, but we want to do Patreon like game nights. So we're thinking like uh, Jackbox or other channels like that. We're going to hang out. We also do a Zoom call every month. One heartbeat. I'm also getting into the new soundtrack. I still have Illuminations playing in my car, but I got to get into this. Um, thank you to everyone who's the like button today. Everyone who's a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you hit the like button, you can still do it. Go check out our other videos as well. We have an amazing Discord of over 300 positive people from around the world. Or oh, we ask that you're a positive person. Michael Jackson, uh, guys, has just subscribed. I can't wait to see more streams. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thanks to all the people who are new subscribers and also all the subscribers who have been here since day one. Love it. Lily says sometimes this uh, can be depressing, but no, it's a hope. You got to look at the hope. That it inspires. Just mousing around, my man Joey. So I went to Disney twice as a kid uh, with my family. When I turned 20, I started going 
As is the adult, I'm 40 now. The more I regret is not going more often. There you go. Captain Kirk says, thank you, Pete and the crew, for another amazing night. Thank you to the Kirk clan. I loved hanging out with them on the 17th. If you miss our St. Patrick's Day stream, a little bit of a different vibe, but I would re totally recommend doing it. We do a lot of different fun streams here. I will say I'm a, I'm a man who likes many different things. Emotional nights like tonight, fun streams on St. Patrick's Day. I can do a museum and be in the happiest place or a bar crawl and have fun. So we do a lot of different things here. Just mousing around says thanks to the moderators. Again, I agree. Tom says thanks for the stream, Pete. Uh, saw the baby elephant last week. Oh, that's awesome. Shelly, thanks for posting the links to the Patreon. Suzanne says, we love Pete and the Carney crew. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Nice to have Lily, a new subscriber here. Shelly dropping the links here in the chat. Again, check out all the things. Uh, my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikToks of Adventures by Carney. The Discord's of Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's of Adventures by Carney. And our website is adventuresbycarney.fun. We have a meetup. Coming up for the Springtime Surprise Weekend for Run Disney, April 18th through the 21st. You can check that out on our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. We have a website. Go check it out, adventuresbycarney.fun, not .com, .fun. We have an amazing sponsor. If you want to sponsor the channel, let me know. There's room for more. Vince, our sponsor, says he'd be happy to have more sponsors join. But please go check out SJG3 Collectibles on Twitter at sjg 3 col but they have over 800 to 900 items every single day. Me. They change items out every day. They have 100% positive customer service after 25 years in business. So please go support them. They support the channel. And if they don't have something you want, go ask them for it. We're talking autographs, pop culture, Disney, Disney, wrestling, everything. Go check them out. Uh, eBay.com backslash STR backslash SJG3 collectibles or just search them in the eBay store. Thank you to them. And thank you to all of you for hanging out with us tonight here at Epcot. We hit 200 likes. Thanks to D'Lo and everyone else who encouraged it. Uh, you don't have to stop watching Disney now. There's still another live stream you can go watch. My boy at the Tomorrowland Traveler here on YouTube. I'm gonna send everybody there. Go support him. He's amazing. Tell him Adventure by Carney sent you. He's an amazing guy, an amazing travel agent. Go to the TomorrowlandTraveler.com for his YouTube or his travel agent services. But he's live at the After Hours event only about a mile and a half from here over at Disney's Hollywood Studios After Hours event tonight. Go watch his stream if you want more Disney. He's there right now. Go tell him I said hi. I'm going to pop in the chat too. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. Make sure you're subscribed to get that bell on. Hit all notifications because we might be live tomorrow. So you don't want to miss it. Just saying, get that bell on. Thank you for watching from Epcot at Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. For Marquita and everyone else we met tonight, have a great night. Be safe. And I'm going to ask you one last favor. It's please be kind to one another. You never know somebody else's story or where they're coming from or what's going on in their life. So let's just spread kindness. Let's change the world. I love you all. Have a great night. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow if you got that you know, notification button on. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.